Hi guys, welcome back to Hit Pointed. Name is Roval. Today we're going to be continuing with Prophecy of Fendor on day 548. And it is ex well, there are exciting times. For we have taken Falcon Dark Castle. And we have begunneth our I guess starts to conquer the world. Now I just need to grab all of this. Cake walk. No worries. Piece of cake. No fucks give. Come on. How was the weekend? Uh, the weekend was incredibly hot, temperature wise. And it was. What you might call it? It was um, also full of th thunderstorms and a lot of rain. Hey, uh. That's Jackie. Welcome to the end. Uh, thank you for becoming a follower. I've been watching your YouTube for about two months and I finally have the time to watch my stream. Love the content. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Welcome to the end. Thanks for dropping by. Okay. Well, we're a little bit around two episodes ahead. Sorry, not, not two episodes. Around four episodes ahead on stream. Yeah, it seems I gotta gotta get the flies off of Bazic. I think that's going to be our job for a little while. We don't practically we're using Basic and Falcon Dark as bait to weaken Ravenstern. Eventually, they're going to be weak enough so that I could, that I can go to Castle Alden and take that and give it to the Queen. Giving that castle to the Queen will make Madame Ursula uh, become a character on the field of battle with her own army, and hopefully, she's going to be strong enough to hold but even if she isn't strong enough we will help her hold this ground practically this is going to be our front right now this is our front here that we need to hold and then this is going to be our front now best case scenario on the first of october in game i'm going to be able to go to elecrae to participate in the tournament that's the best case scenario i don't think it's gonna if it's gonna be possible a uh, worst case scenario we lose Bazic and we lose Falcon Dark. That's that's the current situation. So now we just gotta kill, gotta kill until until they love us. That would be the idea. They're gonna break. They're gonna. It's actually okay to fight this guy in the mountains. Good. Hello, Ivanus. He likes us. We've received an increase in our relations. We're gonna defeat him again. And we're going to release him again. We want him to keep on increasing our relations and love us. That would be the idea eventually. So I'm going to bring our boys here. What am I looking at? Okay, I'm, apparently I'm looking straight at our enemies somehow. So infantry is going to come over here. And archer is going to be coming around that ballpark. And the cow is going to go over there on that side. Uh, by the way, recently I'm starting to get back in the mood of revisiting Battlelord. Battlelord hasn't really done anything to make me go back, but I just feel like I need to give it another chance. Also, there was something that Cormac, that Cormac said that just made me feel that I'm missing something. So Cormac told me that he considers to be Bannerlord, he considers Bannerlord to be easy. And I disagree with him, and I don't, and he's playing it on max difficulty, and I don't really understand why. What am I missing? Do I just suck at it that much and I just need more practice? Is that the current state? Is that the current scenario? I have to figure it out, and that's what kind of made me curious to go back in the game. Maybe I'm missing something out. He is utilizing the the recommended build, which is a uh, mounted bow and arrow with a long glaive. That makes uh, battles just easier. But, I don't know. Is it just because of that? Is it something else? Is it because of the balanced army that he fields? I'm gonna have to go and check out. If you start your menu, you're gonna like it. Yeah, that was that's the idea, Kyo Kyo. That's the plan for this little escapade that we're going through. Well, escapade, guerrilla war. Cavalry start charging in. 
gonna try to go disrupt their archer line, but it seems the it seems the uh, shield wall has been holding up nicely, so that's okay. That's good. Hopefully they're not gonna get bogged down. Ah, lethal lure in there looks kind of like he's about to get bogged down. I mean, he's killing a few, but still. Archers make Bannerlord easy to me, but you have friends that totally disagree with you, and I think it's way harder than Warband. I see. So archers make it easy. What archers do you get, my good sir? What do you spam? Mm. There we go. Hey, Smoothie. Welcome back to the end, dude. Yeah, haven't seen you in a while. How have you been, my man? Do we still have enemies? Oh, there's one, one enemy over there. Okay. Your way to be battled is to buy all estates from NPCs and makes blacksmith weapons worth one million or roughly you can beat the game in ten hours. You buy all estates. Are you talking about fiefs, good sir? Also, that's cheating. Because blacksmithing is bugged and... Well, you shouldn't be able to make... Millions of dollars worth of equipment that early in the game, you know, ten hours in, and just buying buying the world is I don't know, weird. So I don't know. Well, you're not te technically cheating. You're just uh, you know exploiting an exploit. Which since it's in the game, I guess it's a valid way of playing. Abandon the rest. It seems that dude escaped. That's sad. Kuzite and Asarai horse archers. Oh, I see. So you're just spamming horse archers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're powerful. They're powerful. Hmm. But also, I understand that you receive some equipment now when uh, starting... when joining a faction. You receive some equipment and a retinue of soldiers, which really helps out, I guess. Hey, Hornsack. Welcome back to the end, man. How are you? How have you been? Let's see if Bazak has any love. So that Bazak villager just became a Sarleon villager, and he's going to be running southwards. That's interesting. Um, Build a manor. Increases village prosperity and in increases base income. My steward with engineering skill of two believes that building in a manor will cost... What? Go back. Speak to the village elder. Oh, shit. I, get, I need to update this guy's skills. Okay. Okay, train my village steward. It's gonna, it's gonna be 18 hours, and it's gonna cost me a little bit of cash. Small amount of enemies spotted near Falcon Dark. That's fine. Baron Eldred, small band near Bazic, Count Bogdan of Ravenstar was defeated, and my meeting was successful, and we've trained the boy up, finished his village. Aha, and now I can build a lot more. I see. You're doing good, just chilling today? How are you? I'm doing fine as well, a little bit tired after work. I'm glad that the microphone is holding up and is no longer being bugged. Hey, Robson. Hello, Malikalin. Welcome back to the end. Uh, actually, welcome to the end. Uh, thank you for your guide on Native Warband. Helped you a lot. I'm glad it did. Hope I wasn't too mean in the guide. Didn't know about that feature? Yeah, it's a thing. Excellent. You moved out from the bad neighborhood. You, you're glad that you have no problems. What about you? Uh, I moved out. Well, we moved to another city, and now we're sitting in a Three-bedroom apartment, live in the dream. Fish bond. Increases income by 10 and village prosperity by 10. That's it's not going to take that long. Market. Base income by 50, prosperity by 50. Ooh, that's amazing. Winery. Base income by 50, prosperity by 10. Relations by 3. Okay. And a craftsman. Village Prosperity by 20 increases base income by 100. They also allow for independent weekly building repairs. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to go with the market. That seems to be the most 
prosperous thing to build in the village, that 50 prosperity. It sounds amazing. Uh, look, it takes 26 days, but it will be fine. Also has quite a few things up in here. Buy supplies from the peasants. We're going to try to get ourselves some food in exchange for some of this gear that we have here. So I might pay 500, but instead of paying 500, I'm actually going to be paying in equipment like so. That'll be fine. Okay. Basic seems to be safe and sound for now. Uh, do I have, oh, two Ravenstorm Wardens. Okay. I'll just take them to Falcon Dark. A cadre of Knights of the Falcon don their orders garbs in defiance of the Ravenstorn law. They're challenging all who come across to a feat of arms near Senderfall. That's perfectly fine. Uh, the, the Knights of the Falcon are Madame Ursula's knighthood order. What's the plan for this playthrough? Uh, currently, we are helping out the claimant Madame Ursula of Ravenstorn to take, to conquer Ravenstorn. And we started off with Falcon Dark Castle. We are the baby blue Ravenstern rebels and we'll plan to take Ravenstern from east to west would be the idea if we can convince some lords to join our cause on the way that'd be great if not we'll just conquer them by force we'll see it's once i give castle alden to the queen it's going to be her decision uh which fiefs go goes where i'm just going to try to convince some powerful lords to join our side though in the meantime but it's her it's her call from there on okay um so go in the castle manage this garrison put in the raven stern hopefully these <clears throat> these a hundred rangers will provide hmm? ravens are pretty hard to deal with yeah but well I wanted to I wanted to help out with a claimant and I also wanted to test if you can marry a claimant, which I don't think you can, but hey, I wanted to test it out. And having the Ravenstern the Ravenstern faction nation in my pocket and just have a nice way well, a nice supply of archers is awesome. Why not? Plus, I always wanted to, to start the world conquest from the other side of the world. Usually I started from says Ah, in my free time, uh, but we also started over here from Lauria. Especially when King Gregor literally runs up by 750 army only when you rebelled. Okay, not biggest. But I made sure to weaken them before I took my first thief. We'll see. Plus, I think the king is... No. He was in here. I think I released him. But he wasn't that far. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's go to the Lord's Hall. Raven Guard boys are doing fine. Hello, Alberic. What do you got for me? Hello, Aragorn. Welcome to the inn. How may we be of assistance, good sir? Build? No, I don't need that. Get squidded, nerd. I see. Okay. That was, I think, one of the most cringe things I've ever heard today, good sir. Thank you for allowing me to experience such such cringery. Hope you are proud. Okay, let's see. Uh, quality of the Ravenstorm Guard, no. I don't think I'm currently equipping them with anything, because I'd like to, for them to... Um, receive their first upgrade, so we just gotta wait for three weeks. Hmm? You'll pressure me until the end of the playthrough to besiege Alakrae? Okay, sure, you can suggest it, but if you are gonna start spamming, I will have to time you out. I don't plan on besieging Alakrae. It all depends how powerful our soldiers are in the end, but I don't plan on besieging Alakrae. I don't want to grind... A knighthood order that's capable of taking out Elecrae. I just want to grind a knighthood order that will steamroll through the major factions. Hey Marcus, welcome back to the end, man. And that shaking fox emoticon is amazing. Hey Tyndale, how are you doing, dude? 
small band of enemies near Falcon Dark Castle. Is it referring to these guys? Okay, there's a little snack over there. Let's see if I can catch them and kill them. I'm also going to check. Ah, ha, Hello, Duke Aldemar. Can I fight you? I mean, definitely I can fight you. But he's traveling to Pointsbrook. Yeah, he's going to go in there. I'm not going to be able to do anything. Oh, shit. He, he actually went past. That's amazing. So I'm just going to let my character just go catch him. Your knight order is weak. Are they savable after you take out the back of Sampire and ticket for yourself? I mean, if you train them up, I'm sure I'm sure you can make them powerful. And like right now, you gotta need strong knighted order, and it takes time, and I believe it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, I tried the last time, and it was not worth it. Because I'm only having 250k. You'll be fine, dude. Yesterday, you watched a YouTube video of yours where you say, Welcome to the end, I'll be your bartender. That's so good, especially for your type of streamer guy. Yeah, Marcus, it is. It's, it, it was the old catch phrase but at one point there was just so many followers coming in that i kind of scrapped it you just played some everquest okay yeah did you enjoy yourself you're a day 750 still did not create your kingdom and custom night order and you're like best in slot on items and companions are like level 6 to 10 trainer and 370 party size waiting for a damn war okay um i guess you could just go kill go kill them all marcus Go fuck him up. You're still sitting and camping cleric epic. I don't know what that means, but I hope you're enjoying it. Towns from reputation 100, villages 50 plus. Damn, yeah, I think you're over prepared for war, Marcus. Yeah, remember uh, when we we're like 100 people on the live? Good times. Uh, I think the most I had was 80. I'm not sure. Hmm? Lord. Agathon? What what Agathon? Not biggest. Everyone, Let's take this little I guess hill over here. Archer is here. Hold your fire. Infantry come in here. Some somewhere on this ballpark so that they stop lancing. Cavalry on the side. How'd you take all of that 1k prisoner stack from that 975 plus Jato army? How are you rolling around with the 1202? You know how he's rolling around with the 1202 soldiers? In style, my boy. Archers advance one more time. Everyone start shooting. And let the death and destruction begin. Gotta put Lord Aldemar in his place a bit. Mmm, they're gonna charge and run into my boys, aren't they? Well, Madame Ursula is gone. Already. There's gonna be losses. We just need to try and minimize them to the best of our capabilities. Okay, everything is looking fine. Let's just clear out some of the... Horses amongst our archer line. Oop, never mind, going to the front. What's the schedule after POP is done? Um, I was thinking of starting and playing a new playthrough of Bannerlord. I would love to get a guide for Bannerlord out. I think it's time. It all depends on what they plan on doing after 1.6. These people won't be going to waste. Starly declared war on me. These people won't be going away. Okay, man. Okay. Infantry advance a little bit. Uh, but the idea would be, after POP, is either Bannerlord, either Perizno, or Banner Page. Because apparently Banner Page is quite popular with the kids nowadays. Or at least it was. You may pick up Bannerlord, it's on Steam sale for 20 bucks. Ooh, they're getting a little bit desperate, I'd say. Okay. There's a trigger, something happens at the border between two kingdoms. If you really want it, it can start. How to trigger that? Can you trigger a war between two factions? That you're a vassal without it? I don't think you can trigger the war. My good sir. You might be able to talk with the king, maybe, to convince him? I'm not sure. 
You vote for Islam, but you like it? Uh, I'll, I'll set it to a vote, most likely. I'm gonna be... When I feel like we're close to the end of the Parisno, of the Pandora playthrough, I'm gonna be creating a poll for you guys to vote on. Hey, Ravenblood. You see the one-man army cavalry charge is at it again? Hope your day is better than mine, as it has been the culmination of the essence of Monday Incarnate. Oh my god, what happened, dude? What happened on this fine, fucked-up Monday, good sir? Also, um, I'm not the one-man cavalry charge. I had cavalry with me. They just fell and can't get up right now. They're a little bit indisposed. You can't even play Battlelord. Because your PC is a mini toaster. Personal is not a bad idea. It's changed when you play last time. Yeah, I know. And people have been bugging me to update the guide for it. Still think you get two weakish on uh, POP? Mm, at least two. There's gonna be a wall of texting coming, but I shall answer your question. Just a fair warning. Okay, man. Just make it so that it doesn't go over the limit and I'm capable of reading it with no issues. Okay, we lost four men, three legionnaires, like you would expect, and one Gazi marksman. That's okay. Duke Aldemar, you are free to go. That's nice. Holy fuck, that's some expensive gear I like. Uh, there's Duke Adarian. Okay, let me just verify some things. Faction-wise Kingdom of Ravenstern. Duke Aldemar. Ooh, Duke Aldemar is actually the first in line. He is the Lord of Pointsbrook. So, the idea would be to take Pointsbrook without any bloodshed. I'd like to see if I can convince Duke Aldemar to join our queen. To join Madame Ursula. We'll see if that's the case. He's a powerful boy, and uh, we'll see what we can do about that. Now, Duke Adarian. Come on, Dukey. Oh, perfect, yeah. Boop. Routed enemies join the enemy on... Th okay, I've met Count Carolus. He's the Lord of Talonkrag Castle. Suddenly he's pitiless, so I'm gonna have to... Um, just conquer that castle. Instead of taking it. I wonder what type of units he has. Hopefully nothing destructive. Hello, sad boy Misha. Welcome to the inn. If you take him Boinsbrook, he might become your man and convince him. Oh no, I plan on convincing him to join us with Pointsbrook in tow. If he is to join us, he will take Pointsbrook with him. So, it started with a new workplace PC with an upgrade to Windows 10. You can guess how that goes. Had to also help the only other person that received the new Windows 10 update workstation. Superiors that kept coming in with last second notifications throughout the day. After work, you managed to take the wrong bus and have it to take a detour walk then here we have to return certain bottles to store and the first two out of three the effing machines to take them back were broken so that took forever i see um anything else cavalry go tear them apart I'm going to try to distract some of them and stop their charge. Said stop their charge, bitch. Ooh, yeah, I saw that within my chest, so I had to block it. Things seem... Ooh, there he is. There's, there's Count Carlos. Don't you run away from me. County boy. There we go. He's down. Take that guy out as well. Calm down, Madame Ursula. Calm down. Oh my god. Infantry, please churn your shields towards their archers. Jesus Christ. Oh boy. They have received reinforcements. It seems their archers are trying to retreat and regroup with their reinforcement line. Gonna try to kill as many of them as I can as they're retreating, but I do suck at this, so... Mm, that's painful. Ah, missed. Okay. 
My English is so good. Thank you. Fun fact, about half a year ago, you beat Native with only Swadian cavalry. You were thinking it's going to be hard, but they just run through armies like, uh, you're cutting butter. Okay, Smoothie, how do they do when sieging? You like his blue helmet? Count Carolus's blue helmet? Or whose? You have to get to a far store to get the bottles out of the way just to return to store one for your actual groceries. Your paycheck should be in by now, but guess what? It's not. That'd be all for now, but there's still plenty that can go upside down the rest of the day. We shall see. Okay, Ravenblood. You're at home now. Work's over. It's time for you to relax and make the best out of this bad day. Just, you know, grab a brewski. Sit back, relax. Let me comfort you with the wisdom of my voice. Nah, fuck that. Just try to relax, dude. Get yourself some, uh, some food. Yeah, get yourself some comfort food. Uh, try to, you know, um, pat yourself on the back for a, for getting through a shitty day. Now, Rev, do you have any advice? Your current game of Native Warband, everyone is at stalemate. A surprise, and surprisingly, Swadia made a comeback and started taking over the Kurja territory. Vassals for Nords for right now. Okay, there's a stalemate. What do you want to do? Melkalin, what's your what's your end game plan? Do you want to help the Nords conquer the world? Do you want to make your own kingdom? So please, for the love of all of that, is holding when you start next POP banner page or whatever the fuck ever playthrough. Use some more traditional weapons. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be experimenting that much. I actually plan on just going for an OP situation. And oh, that's fine. Just. Plan on going for something with um, with something that I'm comfortable with. You just found out that you can upgrade your custom knight or proficiency over 700 plus after the training with your companion. That's a bit so that's a bit OP. Um, yes, as long as your companion has the proficiency, he can pass that on to the knighthood order, my good sir. You're trying to do so by relaxing my stream, and comfort food would be nice. I uh, know what I would need to get some, my paycheck to actually pay for comfort food, but I had a basic dinner. Of toast. Mmm, toast. That's cool. It was a pain on sieges. You lost about 7 to 110. It was hard on sieging. Yeah, it is. That's why you usually want a contingency of Nord, Huskarls, and Rodox when attacking a siege. You like to see mounted archer or sword or bird? <laughs> sword or board? Not bird. Pretty sure not bird. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but if we are playing Bannerlord, it's gonna be bow and arrow with Longglaive. That's, that's just the most powerful setup for Bannerlord, sadly. Sad to see that it's hard to find out the Vassal's rep in native. You gotta do what you gotta do, man. Okay. Defeated another. Grab those two, and we're going to try to take Count Carolus back. Uh, Wolfbow the Slayer is actually serving our purpose here. He is causing terror among the Ravenstone lands. He is causing a lot of disruption. I can tell simply by him having 98 prisoners. Now we're going to go back to Bazic and deal with Lord Whoever. And on the way, we're going to go back to the castle to put in Lord Carolus. You take all of the loot, not leave some use, all of the money you get. Um, oh, okay. What knighthood order did I join? I joined the Shadow Legion Centurions. I Are they Centurions? I don't think they're Centurions. There's a Shadow, the Shadow Legion. Better, it, you'd be good on that one. You haven't caught any live Bandalore playthroughs. Ah, I see. Receive an urgent message. The Sword of Bazic has urge, has summoned us. Uh, yeah, we will return shortly. We're actually going at the general direction. And there's Lord Marmoon ready to get spanked. Hello, Lord Marmoon. Ready for your daily spankage? Is this Tetris? Hey, Kui. Welcome back to the end. Why would you think that this is Tetris, good sir? This is more like whack-a-mole, to be honest, where we're just whacking lords that pop their head out and try to attack our fiefs. 
In which attribute skill weapon should you stop and then pay for upgrades in your knighthood order? Um, not the biggest. I'd say that once your companions have provided the best of their skills, it's time for you to pay for upgrades. Dangerous. Okay, I'm gonna go cavalry charge in. I'm gonna go up there and cause disruptions among their archer line. And of course, kill them if I can. Who's that shiny guy? I think it's just a Raven's for Warden, right? Yeah, it's just the Warden. Make them run for the hills. Get rid of the Ravens from Rangers. Good. There we go. How you doing, Kiwi, my boy? But yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit tired of experiments. I'm just in the mood of just having some destructively OP fun. What's the hardest unique spawn in my opinion? To be honest with you, um, Igrim, the Devourer's demons are pretty fucking tanky, but I still... Fear the Jatsu armies. Judah the Ravager and the other one are fucking destructive. Sleep is improving and overall life quality. Oh, QE, I'm so happy to hear that, dude. It's awesome. Mr. Fluffy Bunny, welcome to the inn. Tell me your favorite dad joke. Hmm, my favorite dad joke. It would be what did the. Hmm. Yeah, what did the buffalo say to his child when he went to university? Bye, son. Or, um, there's another joke that I really like. Um... What? Uh, yeah, yeah. I may remember that one, how it goes. Hmm. Yeah, what do you what do you call a pony with a sore throat? A little horse. Those are my favorite dad jokes. Congratulations. Jatu armies are easy. Menheim armies are just no. Obris is a no. They haven't really had problems against Menheim. They don't, they, they're they kind of lacking shields. Their crossbows are a little, a little bit deadly, but you shoot them faster. My dad jokes are lame, like my Noldor spirit horse. You should get that healed, not biggest. Sadly, I can't heal my humor. It's broken forever. Have I tried Chivalry 2 yet? No, haven't even tried Chivalry 1 yet. As I understand, Chivalry is a online multiplayer arena thing on the jig, right? If it is, I don't care about it one bit. Sorry. And I'm my cup of tea. Speak with the village elder. What do we have here? Hello, good sir. Chivalry is single player? Am I confusing chivalry with Mordhau? Maybe. Hmm. Okay. What's... How is chivalry? I've never played the game. Neither one nor two. When he's hired a local witch... Local witch says that we have been cursed. Two women here have had miscarriages. A horse died unexpectedly and five villagers have had freakish accidents. We need to hire the witch to remove this curse. Okay, take 1,000 dinars. Hire the witch and have her bless her village as well. Relation with the Knights of the Eventide has increased. Uh, Knights of the Dawn has decreased, but it's fine. Gained two renown. Relation with Bazak has improved. Awesome. Chivalry 1 is dead, to be honest. 
Okay, Melancholin, could you please tell me... At the time when Chivalry was alive, when it was kicking, when it was breathing like you and me, what type of game was it? Have I tried Valheim? No, I have not tried Valheim. I do not own Valheim. Seems like a nice RPG. Well, multiplayer RPG. Hey, we're actually making money. Nice. Oh, nice. Look at those rents from Falcon Dark and Basic, baby. That's some cash. Got to keep this got to keep this place alive. Thank you very much. Manage this castle. Currently building a market. Buck, yeah. Okay. Let's manage the garrison add Count Carlos to our collection. The only thing that satisfies your lust for games were flash games. I see. Can you no longer find flash games? The ones with replayability? Okay, not biggest. I, f I feel like that's... Th that you would be into roguelites. You might want to play some roguelites, man. I can recommend you an amazing roguelite that you can play both single player and multiplayer called Risk of Rain 2. Go with two specifically. I feel like it's much, much better than the first one. But if you're into pixel art, the first one it might be something that you might like as well. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Mr. Fluffy Bunny, if you're still here, did you just drop by for my favorite dad joke and that's it? But no, for people who are fans of Flash games and just replaying the same game over and over again, I do recommend some roguelites. You'd, you'd love those. You watched the Viking series? Um, if you watch it, Rev, what's your opinion? I suddenly have not watched Vikings. We even had a ongoing joke at one point on stream where I keep, people kept asking me to remember to watch Vikings and stuff, but I just never got around to watching it. Does it work with potatoes? A Risk of Rain 1 works with potatoes. I'm not sure about Risk of Rain 2. You would have to check the system requirements. Uh, Risk of Rain 2 is superb. Oh yeah, it's an amazing game. It's And I, I risk of saying Risk of Rain 2 is even better with friends. It's destructively good. So much fun. But the first time you're playing, go single player because you need to explore some of the some of the uh weaponry chivalry and its prime had single player and multiplayer you'll you were able to control a group and got to choose your group example uh you choose two archers two knights one footman plus you would be three knights and and siege castles and do missions okay so let me i i'm i always thought that chivalry is very similar to mordhau it seems i was direly mistaken is chivalry similar to a turn-based video game is it is it a 4x is it like medieval 2 or imperator rome or something like that or civilization really didn't know when you have t the time watch my opinion very good series like okay i guess more than 200 hours in, more or less multiplayer only, has been great, and you would always suggest going in with someone who got the item unlock already, because it's easier to get them unlocked for yourself if they're accessible in the game already. Oh, I see. Didn't know that. I just went in and had fun. Uh, my favorite class is Engineer by far. I love Engineer. Always, always enjoyed uh, Summoner class. Summoner classes, just warlocks, hunters with pets, just always loved that shit. Um, and speaking of that, let's open that can of worms. Can you guys recommend me a video game with a satisfying summoner class? Be it a hunter with pets, be it a mage, be it a warlock. Do you guys have any summoner video games? OMG, you're the Bungus guy? Bungus? Bungus guy. Fungus, yes. Yes, I am the Fungus guy. I like the the healing turret strategy. Uh, but no, I just like to see turrets go pew pew. No, you can recommend anything? Man, you just... Hmm? Your graphics card is Intel HD 3000. Well, you just gave up just like that. I mean, there's... 
there should be definitely some low end PC games that have some nice warlocks in it. Can't think of anything new. You can tell me of old shit as well. I don't mind. Let's see what comes to my mind. Um, let's see. Okay, well, Skyrim. In Skyrim, you can, and in Enderal, you can make a very cool summoner. Um, MMOs are all you can think of. Yeah, in World of Warcraft, definitely Hunters and Warlocks are awesome summoner classes that are very enjoyable. Um, what else? In Divinity Original Sin, you could make a summoner. The Witch class started with a Earth Spider that you can summon. Uh, good summoners is hard, to be honest. The Bard Tale, ARPG, if you have not played it. Could you please link that to me, Ravenblood? And I'll check it out. Oh, definitely. Diablo 2, Diablo 3, Path of Exile. I've played those and amazing summoners. I, th I think Diablo 2 was the game that made me fall in love with uh, just commanding troops on the field of battle. Overlord 1 and 2, technically. True. Yes, I agree. Although that's more of a, you know, a swarm kind of thing. That you need to have the numbers for them to be efficient. Probably Fable. I don't remember it. I don't remember if you could summon stuff in Fable. Also, I have not played Last Epoch. That seems to be a Path of Exile slash Diablo clone on Steam. Uh, Tyrantil, could you please whisper me a link to Last Epoch? I might check it out later. Um, Divinity Original Sin 2 has a summoner. Ooh. 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 That's one of the RPGs on our list to play in the future. Oh my god, I'm going to love that shit, aren't I? I would love Last Epoch, okay. Kingdom of Amal or Reckoning has some, if you remember. Has cool mage class. I remember I remember in Kingdom of Amalur that there was big boom spells, but I don't remember summoners. Did they add some with the with the remaster? Oh come on, not biggest. There must be some old games. Yeah, Diablo 2, you could play it on your potato PC. Um you could you I think you can play Path of Exile as well. Mm, okay, probably not. Probably not Path of Exile. If you like Divinity Original Sin, you'll love Divinity Original Sin 2, and Baldur's Gate 3 is great. Uh, I haven't played the first Baldur's Gates. I have to go back and play them, and only then I will allow myself to go with Baldur's, Ga Baldur's Gate 3. KOA has no real summoning. Oh, Kingdom of Amalur. Yeah, that's what I that's what I remember too. What I remember about Kingdom of Amalur is that it was boring as shit. The combat was amazing, but the story was forgettable as fuck. Okay, there's Duke Alexis with Count Draco. These are two powerful lords that we will take on now. You only have a Pog phone, a shit laptop, and a PS3. It's okay, not biggest. We can find some video games that have some summons if you're interested in that sort of thing. Holy fuck, not biggest. You can play Sacrifice. Oh my, a classic. A classic that you can find incredibly cheap on GOG or Steam. Sacrifice, a very underrated third person RTS game. Don't need to, as it's not continuation, and Baldur's Gate 3 is actually the first Baldur's Gate by Larian, who are the creators of uh, Divinity Original Sin. That's cool. I wonder if you, could, if you could play as a summoner in Pillars of Eternity. Was that a thing? Knights of the Dragon spam? Mm. These guys, yeah. I would actually advise against it in many cases, as Battle Baldur's Gate 3 is very disconnected from the first two Baldur's Gate games. I I'm perfectly fine. I I don't mind a video game going away from its predecessor or something like that. That'd be that'd be okay. Hmm? So, do you want YouTube videos of a guy of guides? Uh, for what, Tyrandal? Yeah, Fable doesn't have summons. You remember Demon Doors? Pretty cool gameplay overall. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's defeat Duke Alexis and hopefully take him as a prisoner. No, I don't want a guide for Last Epoch. Just want the link. The link from Steam. In some sense, the whole Heroes of Might and Magic series is kind of summoning style. True. True. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, yeah, Heroes 3 kind of gave me that vibe a lot. That you're summoning your troops on the field. Oh, shit. Um, you know what? It's not really summoning, but Disciples 
two. Disciples two. Stay away from three. It's a piece of shit. It's 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 a heroes clone instead of a disciples game. But disciples two is a very cool old awesome game. So not biggest. You want you might want to get on that. That's a cool game. Send you the official website link because you don't need to go through Steam to play like Path of Exile. I, I prefer having all of my games in one place. So if I can play it through Steam, I probably would go with through uh, to it through Steam. So 425 dudes. Let's get up there. Hopefully we can take this hill before they reach us. Dungeons 1 and 2. Um, Is that the name of the game? Dungeons? Robson? I don't think I've played it. Lexus loves couch. If you know, you know. What? He does auditions for porn movies and he always gets rejected? Or what are you trying to say, Marcus? What? <laughs> Lexus loves couch. Yeah, I guess he has a lance and a lot of lancers. Have I ever played Dungeon Keeper? No. I don't think I've ever played... Dungeon Keeper. Seems they're shooting from super far away. Could you please hold that shield up for fuck's sake? Jesus Christ. Okay, everyone, open fire. Dungeon Keeper. I don't know. I don't know how that sounds, to be honest. Yes, yeah, the name and Dungeons is kind of an RTS dungeon builder game with indirect control over your minions building shit. Let's see. If you want to have indirect controls of your minions, I'd say Majesty. The Majesty series, both Majesty 1 and 2, are amazing for that. Um, Majesty 1, uh, not biggest, you would love that. Definitely grab it for your machine, it works on potatoes. A uh, Majesty 2, pro you'd probably have problems with it running it, but I sometimes I feel like Majesty 1 is the better game, so you might want to check it out. Shot through the heart, and they're to blame. Ooh, that I think that's Duke Alexis himself. Oh, sorry. Wrong dude. Surprise, Dukey. He took a Dukey. Kill them all. Slaughter them bitches. I'll come back to you guys in a sec. Other good summoning games. I don't know. I really wish they would make some a video game where you're like uh, the bad guy and you summon a army of minions and should they do your bidding or stuff like that. I think there's a RimWorld-esque game where you summon demons that go and cause disruptions and the objective is to destroy the village from within. But I don't remember the name of it. You're the big bad guy, Dungeon Master, who is only and builds dungeons and summons minions. So that's Dungeon Keeper. I think I think there's three games in the series. Lost five men. If you can stand the grind, the Disgaea series is kind of summony. Want us more the tactical RPG kind of thing, though? Ooh, right. I actually played the first Disgaea back in the fucking days at a friend's house. He had it on PlayStation 2. Uh, it's It was an awesome game, and I always wanted to go back to it. It's pretty cool. Also, kind of the PS3 games. I don't really know PS3 games with uh, with good, with good summoning units, my man. I don't know. Well, good summoning units. Good summoner classes. There was also War for the Overlord. Uh, similar dungeons, although harder. Could you please whisper me those two games, my man? We speak about summoning games. Remember Lord of the Rings Battle of Middle-Earth 2? You can still get copies of uh, Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle-Earth 2. You can still get uh, copies. Um, there's a free mod copy somewhere on the internet that you can get. Although, um, I don't know when I'm going to get into that game as well. They're more or less all on Steam right now. Okay, so, yeah, I know. I know the entire Disgaea series. I think there's a mega pack, exactly like Halo, for the Disgaea series. 
if you're only at hands on the screen with a dungeon core and there's a dungeon keeper one two and three and you guys with the same vibe dungeon one two and three okay mm, that would have been cool but no shot through the heart and I'm repeating the same jokes over and over again, aren't I? But there's only so much content that I can go for. Uh, Robson, Thirndall, thank you for the wisps. Oh god, this guy, yeah, way too much mini shit in those in a good way. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the mini, and I, and I seem to remember that the comedy was uh, on point as well. Well, especially if you are, it's, it's a Japanese RPG. Uh, think of Fantasy Tactics. And uh, it has Japanese comedy in it, so I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I was always into the Japanese culture and their Japanese sense of humor. Ooh, I think I'm going to be retreating a little bit over here. And then we're going to re-engage. When Hidden Minds of Alaziz is, the is in the Jantu territory, meh. Meh, my good sir. I say to you, meh. We don't need the Jatu Mines. I'm actually going to be retreating and re-engaging because we get this map again, which is awesome. If I ever played Lords of the Fallen, it's like a Dark Souls, but a little harder. Lords of the Fallen. Um, Isn't that a Diablo-style game? Am I mistaking? Dungeons 2 is on sale 70%. Probably would like to start with the first one, I guess. What did you say, Malinkland? Lord of the Fallen is War's Dark Souls. Oh, I see. Okay, maybe I'm misremembering it with something. Maybe I was thinking of... Uh, I don't know. There's this Diablo-like game that came out... I, I don't remember. I, I can't really remember the name. I think I'm misremembering Lords of the Fallen. Infantry advance a little bit. Going through their cavalry is great. Holding them in place. Mm, Raven Sword Mounted Archer. Causing some problems up in that bitch. Ooh! Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Okay. Just keep shooting, boys. Just keep shooting. Lord of the Fallen is sluggish, bad Dark Souls with uninspired bosses who are all kind of samey. I see. That's sad to hear. Well, I have, haven't played the Dark Souls game yet, but I don't think you have summons in that game. I think it, you know, it's... It defeats the purpose. You all here talking about dungeon games, and I'm here still playing an online Flash game from 2010. Okay, dude. Go check out Majesty. Seriously, there's so many old games that you could play right now, and you're playing Flash games, good sir. And I'm sure there are good Flash games out there. Hell, I played a lot of Flash games back in the day. Ah, missed. Oh boy, reinforcements are coming in. I'm just going to go back a notch. Ah, Jesus. Everybody fall back a bit. A bit. Not much. A bit. You mostly play old games out of nostalgia? I see. Back in the day, size like a new ground took weeks off of your hands? True. Choo choo. Hmm. I'm gonna turn around a little bit, let them get shot. Ooh, getting slashed a bit in the back. That ain't nice. Ooh, is that a... Okay, that's a big knight. Ooh, that's a big knight that's just going through my block. Oh, he... is he running away? No. He's dead. Got the Highlander. Ah, oh, crap. Got killed by a Ravenstern horseman. Such a sad way to go. You remember this damn game about civilization evolving from Stone Age to futuristic shit? You played it so much? 
Well, if you want something in, in the genre, you could try Empire Earth. Get him with your Black Iron Spear. Yeah, I should get that checked. I don't think it's normal for it to be black, right? Remember buying one game similar like Diablo? I think it was Torchlight with two parts. Uh, yeah, Torchlight is a Diablo-style game with cartoony graphics. I don't remember if you have a Summoner class in that one. The old Sacred 1 and 2 games have interesting Summoners. Just do never go towards 3. 3 never happened. Never. Sacred. Mm, I don't think I've ever played that series. Oh shit, they're actually closer than I thought. Archer's over here, let's form a quick line. Cavalry charge in, try to disrupt. Age of War, that's how this game was called. I see. Okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, the one that you stated that you evolve from the Stony Ages to the Biggie Ages. Yeah, it seems we're fighting through their trash a bit here. We should, in theory, be going through them like a knife through butter. But I don't know. Gotta try to go this from the better archer line. I'm also kind of running out of health. I was kind of expecting him to go towards me, but okay. Ah, shit, yeah, some of them are shooting towards me. Just disrupt them a little bit while I make my escape. Titan Quest was very fun. Um, I always found Titan Quest's talent trees boring. Do you remember, Smoothie, if you've seen summons in Titan Quest? Torchlight actually has three parts now, and you don't feel like they did ever have a summoner. They have a hunter with a single pet, but no real summoners. Uh, Ravenblood, you're mistaking a little bit. All classes have pets in Torchlight, but they're not really combat classes. They're not really combat pets. Faith with the, was a pretty good dungeon game back in the day. Found out they made four more games on it. Of it, it's pretty old. It was pretty cool. You get a pet companion like a cat or a dog to fight with you. Found out recently it's on Steam, but only the first one, sadly. Oh, I don't think I've played Fate. As a Diablo fan and an ancient history fan, that game was awesome for you, too. Okay. You saved scum or something about your small self? Oh, okay. Titan Quest had wolf pets, and all caster trees had some type of pet. Hmm. Okay. I wonder why I don't remember that. Titan Quest on trees boring. They were great, I think, especially due to multicasting that made sense with every combo. Dude, I I don't know, maybe I played it wrong, but I remember doing all game. All game. And after doing this for Act 1, I was like, bored now. Can't play anymore. Flip table, walking away, coming back, arranging table putting the computer back on because that's my goddamn job and fun so so no no oh, also this is the motion of stabbing with a spear it takes a bit to get interesting skills Ugh. dude just i i snored through the combat of act one i was like nah nah i don't think i can do this in Titan Quest, a friend of mine played a summoner character that was only putting summons out with using the Warriors Ancestors, some kind of ult to summon the three ghost guys to kill bosses and everything else with the other permanent summons. Mm. And that game was meant for the long play. <sighs> How many acts does it have? Uh, Duke Alexis, you're bad-tempered. You're my prisoner. Congratulations. Count Draco has escaped, sadly. Boop. Oh, man. I don't has the spaces. Also, is my horse ready? My horse is ready. Let's put the the horsey, the real horsey back. Okay. I'm going to be going to Falcon Dark. Put Count Alexis in the prison. Yeah, that part was shitty about Tiny Quest. You played a long time ago, so you don't remember everything. 
The first two acts are on meh, granted, but if you know what you're working towards, it's grand, and you love it with the Ragnarok DLC for the Anniversary Edition. I see. Okay. Six with all of the DLC, but you understand that it had the different difficulties. Okay. Congratulations, Duke Alexis. You are mine now. <laughs> and to add some level ups to the boys and drink some water. So it planned on you replaying it and stuff like Diablo 2? Uh, okay. You linked me the real sacred games as well now? Sure. Thank you, Ravenblood. Hey, it's the Steam Storm Sale. I might get a few of those. I might grab a few. For the glory. Do I get a chest here? Oh my god, I have a chest. Hello, chesty. Catch. I'm just going to put loot in here for a while. Oh, I can't add a horse to the chest. Such such a oversight from the developers. I'm kidding. It's, it's okay. It's nice that I can't add horses to the chest. It's what Path of Exile ripped off of for the gem system. Okay. That sounds fun. I really enjoyed Path of Exile. Ooh, which class summoner build? Sex. Pure sex. Well, some kind of summoning would be Shadow's Awakening, and it's all about the different puppets, the Shadow Demons, which you are, is collecting and putting them out there while switching into the Demon Realm with your Realm form from time to time, with also some Realms and some Demons and some summoning, and a little bit of the Realm Demons and stuff. Okay. You hated that game? Uh, Sacred or Shadow's Awakening? And why? Also, how dare you? Now nah, I'm kidding. Why did you hate Shadow's? Yes, run, my pretties, cause chaos in the Ravenstone lands. <laughs> that was my best uh, impersonation of a witch's voice. I hope you appreciate my effort. It was not a lot of effort, but it was some. It's not the best ARPG, to be honest. It's pretty mediocre. Shadows Awakening, okay. Just seemed like they were trying to bring MOBA shit into an RPG and felt really boring after about 10 hours. I, I see. Uh, okay. I haven't played Shadows Awakening, so I don't know. I mean, MOBA hmm, doesn't really sound that bad, but still. How am I doing? 185 soldiers. I should make a headcount. So, we got our Cabusiers, we got Squires of the Lion, a few Cure Guard, Empire Leash. We need a little bit of extra infantry, I'd say. A little bit of extra love. Don't think it was bad, but it was nothing to be writing home about either. Mm. Let me see. There. Finally. They're not bothering my ears anymore. 382 soldiers. That's. That's a few boys. Okay, who's the Lord of Castle Alden? Faction? Ravenstern? Castle Alden, Lord Gustav, who's bad-tempered. Ah, we're gonna have to defeat him. Whatever you do, don't waste your money on ARPG game. Wolson? Oh, Wolson! That's the one that I miss- um, that I misconfused with, uh, Lords of the Fallen. How's Wolson? How you doing, Wilson? Why shouldn't I waste money on it? Are the leaders smarter in Pendor than native in your experience? Haven't tried it yet. They seem similar. Melancholin. They seem to have this a similar AI. Granted. Stupid, but similar. I think I'm even I might even have the Lord of Castle Alden as a prisoner. Which I'm not crying over. So Duke Aldemar is looking his wounds. Wolfbow the Slayer needs to come with me a bit. He needs to come westwards. 
He's getting a little bit too close for comfort, although I could passively use him as a defensive tool in my lands. So wherever he's going, he's a interesting addition. Well, and there's, of course, the good old name by the name Summoner, but I guess you know that one and have played it if you like games about summoners. I actually don't know that that game called Summoner. But I think I saw his graphic and I was like, a little bit. But who knows? Summon your goons to attack the baboons. Mmm, poetic. Was oversold in early access. They had to cut out a lot of stuff out of the game. Then it still has the bugs it launched with one year ago. You only can patch their crap once every quarter over some stupid contract with the server hosters. All but shitty. It's hella old like PSX graphics. No, no, thank you. Nah, nah, I'm good. I'm fine. I'm okay. Let's fill up a little bit on troops. Yeah, let's let's steal the recruits from Ravenstern. PSX graphics are still good. That's that's fine. Count Arnoldus was defeated. Who are they at war with right now? I'd like to check. Uh note. Factions Ravenstern. Uh currently at war with the Ravenstern rebels. No I was saying issues with the rest of them. No, oh, I see. So, they're just fighting everyone. Cool, cool. Oh, and it's online only. And they can wipe your item cash when they feel like it with no notice. They paid streamers for the first week to overhype them. Mm, I see. Sad. You're fine with PSX graphics and good games as well. But you know there are quite a lot of people who can't stand low poly. Mm, I, I'm... I want some better graphics nowadays, you know, just not... I like pixelated stuff, but, you know, make it good. Make it good. Uh, they want Lord Burgundus back. Sure, take Lord Burgundus back. He was off the field for a little bit of, a little bit of time, so that's good for me. How are we looking on food? Mm, still going slightly low soon. You've been raised with low poly. I've been raised with low poly as well, but... Now I have the capabilities of a lot of polys. And I'd like to have a few polys, you know. A bit here and there. Pixel's always nice, but the good old low poly did not age well. It'll go back to the ground and low poly. Mm. Still play EverQuest. It's a 21-year-old MMO. That's perfectly fine, man, as long as you're having fun, Tyrandell. No worries. So, what other summoning, what other video games with cool summoner classes? Hmm. Hmm, some chicken. Get some of that chicken in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, 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 ooh. Age of Wonders Summoner Glass. Age of Wonders 3, to be specific. Summoner Faction. I think it's the Mage. I, it might be the Mage. Or it might be the Druid. I think it's the Druid. It's it's one of the, the two. Uh, but yeah, Age of Wonders 3. You might want to check it out, guys. You've been through your Steam library now and you're fresh out? I at you. I'm, I'm kidding, Ravenblood. All's good. Age of Wonders is good shit. I think my favorite was Age of Wonders 2 Shadow of Magic. It has a little bit outdated graphics by now, but it's still a good game. Uh, no, not Biggie. Not Biggest. Uh, you might, can I just call you Biggie? I think it's easier to call you Biggie. You know, you're not the biggest, but you're Biggie. Biggie, try out Age of Wonders Shadow of Magic. Age of Empires, the shit for you. Call me anything you want. Call me anything you want, baby. <laughs> sure, Biggie. Ah, uh, but no, 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 really. Um, since you're a little bit on the low end, Age of Wonders 2: Shadow of Magic might be up your alley, dude. Has had some friendly interface, some cool turn-based uh, world building. A little bit similar with Heroes 3, only it's a hex-based combat system instead of a hex-based combat system. <laughs> 
I, I think Heroes 3 had a hex based combat system. That's still. I think in five or six, they went with a square combat system that I. Uh, at. Yeah, 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 both are hexes. Now that I'm thinking back to Heroes 3, both are hexes. Can I? Oh, right, I can recruit. I can recruit. I can level up. Nolda Ranger. And now nah, I'm just going to wait for all of them to level up. Fuck that. Slow key on food for now. They're not really coming in with. Where would you see that code and iron sword has gathered nobles and knights and has joined the King Gregory? Fuck! Fuck! Okay. That's. That's something. You, do you remember Black and White 2? I actually have not played the Black and White series. Sadly. Jatu armies are easier than silos. I don't know who silos is or who you're referring to. What just happened? Uh, Kodan, the Iron Sword, I think just gathered a army of adventurers and joined King Gregory, my direct enemy. You were sure it was another black and white game? Maybe someday. Uh, you cannot remember which one of the heroes broke with the hex, but it was just one, as no one liked the move away from hexes. Disciples 3. <laughs> Disciples 3 went for a grid-based combat when it shouldn't have. It should stayed static turn-based, like Disciplines 2. Yeah, such a good game. I'll have to believe you, I haven't played it. You know, you're talking about Silo Uzaz. Isn't he a dude that spawns down in the south? Not biggest. That's the Shadow Legion Centurion spawn? Oh, okay. Didn't know. Lord Hengi Pengi, let me love you. Didn't we just capture? Ben? No, no, that was Lord Burgundus. So I'm gonna try to reach that hill. Love. Love with the Hengis, or how I like to call it, a little bit of Hengi Pengi. Gotta do some hingy pingy. Yeah. Chevaliers, stop them. Uh, one sec. I'll read what you guys are saying in a bit. Ah, I missed. Like a shit. So next time you're getting a little bit physical with the missus, just tell her, let's do some hingy pingy. And then she will be Confused, and most likely her arousal will go away. And then no hangy pengy for every for anyone. Oh, you were attacking me. I was just wondering who's just doing damage. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Got to stop their infantry advancement. Not really super worried, but still. So, it's interesting that the Man at Arms is the equivalent of the Warden, and both of them come equipped with uh, with hammers, with two-handed hammers. I don't know, I, I somehow like that. Got him. Got him, coach. You turned evil in BW2. BW2. What's BW2? Uh, by building a skyscraper only for housing that was so tall that you could see its top in God's view and anyone over the first person... Oh, black and white too. When the first 1k population died or falling out of the game causing me to take negative hits on alignment. Uh-huh. Hope you get to the 5k battles. Hopefully. No, you prefer not? I know. You never do that? Okay. The big battles. You went instant max evil. The unrelenting waves of Empire Knights and Guardian Empire Knights are still haunting you. Ooh, sorry to hear that, dude. Most of your plays in black and white, you are evil, so you're related to that. I can't. I just can't my let's let myself be evil. Although, now that I'm a little bit more mature, 
Okay, I did say a little bit. I think I would be capable of going for an evil playthrough. But I'm just, I'm just interested in an evil playthrough did well, you know? A, a complex character that's smart evil, not just stupid, unnecessarily brutal evil. Got him. Got him, coach! Are we done here? Yes. He likes to take plague and toss them into the enemy faction towns. Hmm, I see. I said a little more mature. A little. Okay. Just a bit. Hey, sub. Welcome back to the end, dude. Every time you want to make an evil character in Kotor, you just end up being good again. Just simply can't. <sighs> so, I was playing together with you guys when we went evil in Kotor 2. There was just some weird shit. Just some weird... They really didn't put in a lot of effort into making you evil, but cool evil. Never Winter Nights 2. If you play Max Evil, it makes you feel really bad. I see. PK Rock, thank you for resubscribing with Prime. I appreciate him, my man. Ten months. How is Never Winter Nights? I haven't played it. Insignificantly more mature? Yeah, let's go with that. You murder all of your companions? Ah. Yeah, lame. So, practically like... The first Mass Effect? I think at the first Mass Effect, if you're max evil, you kill everyone. I don't know. You might, you might do that. Ah. Never went your nights. Uh, 1 and 2 were your introduction to the D&D rule set, and you love them to this day. Any summoners in Neverwinter Nights? Just give me some sums, man. Hey, Sub, do you know any video games where you can be a cool summoner class? You know, either with pets or with magic pets and stuff? Now, Mass Effect Paragon and Rebel are only make people scared of you. I also oh, practically the under preparation of the final mission would make everybody go. <coughs> so just dialogue. That's a little bit limb. That was two. Ah, okay. Then I don't know. I, I, it's, it's been a while since I planned that series. You want to be the type of guy that doesn't look back at explosions. He made cool evil guy and a lot of lame douche. Also, smart evil, exploitation, a little bit of slavery here and there. You know, use undead for manual labor while learning people about necromancy and make them use, you know, manual labor efficiently. Make them love you by using evil means, influence, and deception. And some lies here and there, why not? Cool. 1,500 hours on two. Cool. Can't think of any off the top of my head. Maybe black and white? Mm. I see. Terraria has a summoner class. Do tell, Teal. Welcome back to the end, man. How? You had a D&D &D campaign where the undead necromancer was leading a utopia kingdom. Oh, yeah, uh, Tyrandel, you actually told me the story. You were using him as uh, the big bad guy in another campaign. You can use the staffs to summon pets and they fight for you? Yes, Pokemon. Well, well, true. Pokemon is a cool game where you can be a summoner class. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, that's... That is it. Genius. Ah, uh, but I'm just playing Temtem. If you want a cool Pokemon game on PC, uh, Temtem. Stop, did you eventually check out Temtem with your kid? Kids? Plural. A cadre of Knights of the Falcon da donned their order's garb and defies. Oh, really? Another cadre of Knights of the Falcon spawned. Cool, cool. Uh, Pokemon, you enslaved creatures to fight for you. Fuck yeah. The evilest shit ever. Peta is rolling in its grave if it were dead. It's not, though. Got a dip now. Leave it a lurk. BC, my friendo. All right, Ravenblood. Have a go in, man. I wish you a wonderful evening, and we hope we cheered you up a bit. While not requiring water or food. Yeah. 
We don't. Haven't yet. They uh, they like to play Monster Sanctuary. It's perfectly fine. Don't need to overwhelm them with choices. Just give them one game at a time. And when they finish Monster Sanctuary, they're like, Okay, kids, I got something better. Monster Sanctuary, but with better graphics. And you put the imaginary Temtem on the... I don't know. I don't know what I was doing with the hands. Okay. Uh, Path of Exile has a nice build, uh, summoner build. Yeah, I know. I played the fuck out of the witch class. Loved. Loved playing with the uh, witch class summoner build. Your phone says the highest you have ran in a day is 27 kilometers. Congratulations, my dude. Yes, exactly. It's either spelled like that, Temtem, or Ten Ten, but I think it's Temtem. Should you believe it? I don't know. Have you been shaking your phone a lot lately? Manage the garrison. Not they're fine. Manage this. Uh, did we get any recruits? Raven search soldier. Pendor recruits. Yeah, we got some recruits, man. Man. Alberic, can you send in for more? Want to go to the war room? No. No, I can't send for more right now. No noob. Okay. Grim Dawn. It's made by the same developers that made Titan Quest, Summer's Tree, with two classes focused on pets. Okay. Uh, could you please whisper me in the game? I've heard about Grim Dawn, but I haven't played it yet. It's 109 degrees here, about 42 Celsius. You're dying. Oh, sub. I am so sorry. The most we had over here a few days ago was 37 degrees. I think it was on either Friday or Saturday. 37. Oof. Oof. 42, man. I'm so sorry. How do the prisoners in your castle work? Do you get money from them after some time, or do you need to sell them on your own? You need to sell them on your own, and when it comes to lords, usually the faction will pay you a ransom uh, for them. I usually just put the lords inside the castle because... Uh, for safekeeping, there's a lower chance of them escaping from there. Uh, Grim Dawn is also a table game, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know if it is. Okay, so, Biggie, just because you went to Kuwait and you met with 60 degrees doesn't mean that it's not hot for us we're living in zones where it's usually not this hot so give us a break man hello mita welcome to the end uh don't you can speak with the lords and they will offer money to release them yes but i don't really want to release them i want to keep them off of the field of battle as much as i can i don't want the money i just don't want them to be in my hair i like my hair clean 39 Celsius in your place is disgustingly hot. It is. Recommend Kabbalist Necromancer combo. You can pet Commando the entire game. Sounds cool. You live in the Pacific Northwest. It's really humid here and never over 100. Hmm. Has any lord defected to me yet? No, and they won't be defecting to me uh, because I'm not going to be the ruler of my faction. I'm helping Madam Ursula with her faction. So as soon as I take Castle Alden, I'm going to be giving this castle to Madam Ursula. And then managing fiefs and lords will be her shtick. I took Falcon Dark Castle for myself. So I can start building my knighthood order. And then from then on, Madam Ursula is going to be handling the diplomacy shit. Not me. You gotten used to the train in the sun? Mm, I see. Hello, uh, O Paladino Doido. Welcome to the end. You live in the USA Midwest, 90% plus humidity with yesterday with 110 degrees before head index. I. What's that in Celsius, good sir? Because me don't know. Lord Faramund, let me kick thy hiney, good sir. Let's fight.
Ah, yes. <clears throat> I will get you next time. Uh, trained militia. I actually want some spearmen in the front line, so if these guys could become cure guard, that'd be great. Uh, so with Siggy, I think we're waiting for a level up from him, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're waiting for a level up because I don't know where to put this point in. Might put it into agility next turn so he can get some weapon master. Mm, I don't know. I'll think about it. Hello, Lord Fairy Moon. Let's kick your ass. With the heat index uh, that puts outside temperatures at 148 degrees. Sucks, my dude. That sucks major ding-dongs, man. I'm so sorry. We had air quality warnings. I see. Keep the shield up. Keep the shield up. Keep the shield up. Owie. Ooh, poop. I think I'm dead. Think I'm dead. No, no, I'm not dead. Cool. I somehow survived that, which is nice. Cure guard died. It is to be expected. suck and I'll read so it was too dangerous to go outside over humidity making it hard to breathe I see in your 40 years in this area never once have you seen air quality warnings over humidity global warming I guess you can get a go see you rev um us stream tomorrow at the same time yeah yes smoothie I'm us streaming tomorrow at the same time thanks for dropping by man have a good day I is streaming. We actually had a tornado a couple of days back here in the Czech Republic. Yeah, Hortek, I know. Um, Are you safe? Are you and your relatives safe and okay? I know that Ariander stated that uh, one of his friends had some property damage, but that was pretty much it. Bury the moon. Prisoner. Gold bar. Some good shit. And, you know what? I guess they could be useful inside the castle. Yeah, they'll be useful inside the castle. Let's go. You're good, luckily. You live in a different part of the Republic. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay, man. I really hope you, you boys are, are doing okay. One of my prisoners... Okay. Three prisoners escaped at the same time, including the dude that I had with me, that I just captured. That is unlucky. Uh, Google Joplin Mo Tornado. You were search and rescue for that? I see. How did it go, man? Did you see a lot of fucked up shit? leave go to falcon dark 34 towns were wiped out by f4 or 5 tornadoes my man that's shitty just shitty mcspitty shut up raiders oh three out of four towns 34 towns being wiped out is just in hard to imagine. Hell, three or four towns is hard to imagine, but 34. Scary shit, dude. Scary shit. And I really hope these... So... I don't think I have to mention this, but, you know, the main cause of global warming are the com the companies. 
you know, the big industrial companies that are set in their old ways that are just causing the the global warming problem. I really hope they wake up soon and they start actively, you know, fixing shit. I really hope that's going to happen. What's going to happen? I don't know. How are we looking on foo? Oh, right. I should go inside the castle. And add my shit in here. The official count of dead from it was 1,690 till President show up. And because his publicity guys didn't like those numbers, they dropped a zero and claimed that the rest was indirectly caused by debris. Okay. Right, but I don't believe that. I would love to, but I don't think it'll happen. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't think it'll happen either, sadly. Hurts my soul, but... Not holding my breath. Really not holding my breath. Times Magazine investigated for a bit. And then they were paid off and the investigation stopped. September 28th, on the 1st of October, oh, hello, Duke Aldemar, Lord Conrad, but Duke Aldemar, that is a target that I need. The journalist was fired for smearing the president, of course he was. Okay. Okay, let's, let's sadly not go into politics because those cause issues. Oh boy. And that's all you'll say? Okay, man. I'm still sorry to hear that. That is. That do be fucked up, good sir. I am the shield wall. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. That's fine. Sorry, Horteca, don't, don't know what that means. The Queen are non olet. No, no idea what that means. It sounds like Spanish. Latin saying, money does not stink. Oh, I'm pretty sure it does. No, oh, run! Run, you piece of schnitzel puff! The piece of schnitzel puff was directed at, at the shoulder that was... That shoulder. The soldier that was blocking me. Not against my... Not against my horsey. It's my horsey be God. Could you have a summoner class in Dragon Age? No, I don't think you could summon stuff in Dragon Age. Mm. Opportunity lost. Hmm? No, we don't have this saying in Romanian. Ortak. Ah, uh, he escaped. Wop wop. I'm not going to take anything, but I'm going to take those. Well, you could summon animals. In Origins, at least. Hmm, I see. Maybe someday. Oh, did you just fuck up? Lord Conrad, you fucked up! Boop! Cunning Lord. Okay, let's kill him. I didn't know that. I don't remember that you could summon animals. The Aminals. What's the list of? Am I seeing the enemy? Does the enemy see me? Nope, I'm looking in the wrong direction. Holy crap, we're actually positioning in the right direction. Are they charging us like madmen? Oh, they're charging us like madmen. Shit! Infantry, get up here. Now. One second, elated Mango, my boy. Um, you made your own Kingdom of War. That's if I just found out how hellish sieges are. Yep, they're actually based on Viking conquest. Have fun. Next battle or playthrough, do the execute all. But I did. I already did that with the Kuzait. 
with the Kuzait um, playthrough. Remember, Turndal? We executed all of them. And it made conquering and stuff quite easy afterwards. To be honest, just killing and eliminating clans in Battle Lord makes the entire world easily conquerable for you. So we're going to cheese it, so cheese it to the extreme. Uh, but I want to try to make friends, see if it's more beneficial, see if it's easy. Oh my god, they're actually, sh they're actually focusing me down, huh? Yep, they're focusing me down, I'm dead. Even I can't defend against so many schnitzel puffs. Mmm, um, inventory's gonna get killed there a bit. Hey, Marcus. True, I'm not dead, I'm not unconscious, but it's a figure of a speech. Alright. What got you... What got you so triggered, Marcus, my boy? The fuck? 43 and Sully gone before the battle. Mm, sounds about right. We're actually doing a Dragon Age Origins playthrough these days. Hope you're having fun with it, my man. Oh, so, so beer triggered you? You stop drinking, man. That's not healthy. If, if it triggers you that fast... I'm sorry that life's triggered you, my man. Hope you're gonna have better days. Of course, if you wanna talk about it, we're here to listen, my, my dude. Maybe pitch in here and there. So getting ready to play your first Call of Cthulhu play in like 15 years? Call of Cthulhu playthrough. I should have continued that battle. I should have let them take it to the end. I'm an idiot. Oh, we let them take it to the end. That's cool. I'm the bartender that helps you. I listen to your issues and try to pitch in here and there. Well, that's kind of it. How dare you call a beer a bad thing, Rev? As a Czech citizen, you're offended. You'll get over it. I Well, he, he was triggered and he said, beer triggered me. And I'm like, okay, stop drinking beer. Seems it's not helping you out. That was all. It was a joke. Um, it's tabletop D&D with insanity and you are the hero just a speed bump for the great old ones that sounds awesome I think there's a video game that came out that um, is based on a Lovecraftian horror um, I just don't remember it right now hmm? I see you did not get it why it's so good as an in and you being a bartender because a lot of people come here on tons of videos where they share their pain with you and you give them advice. So welcome to the end. Get it? Yes. Yes, that's that's what I confirmed, Marcus. Compared to the other streams, you actually talk with tons of people about problems and stuff. I talk as much as I can, trying not to neglect the video game that we're playing. Advice for it is don't get attached to your characters. They die, they go insane, they become future bad guys. Yep, sounds about right. Sounds about right. That's Lovecraft media for you right there. Footman. The footman. They foot. And only Romanians would get that joke. You see he's carrying the heavy grain again, but it's okay, he's cool. Uh, yeah, it's just to have some excess food in case the baggage train goes out. And that would give me enough time to reach a location to restock. So that's why I have the heavy grain on me. Heavy grain is just efficient. You can find it everywhere and it'll take a while for your boys to chew through it. Pardon. Uh, do I have a lord with... Yes, I actually do. I have Lord Conrad, who will be taken to Falcon Duck and thrown into dungeon next to the troll and Harry Potter, which was smashed by the troll. I don't know. I don't know what went wrong. 
Count Raban was defeated. Am I going to take Pointsbrook? I plan on convincing the Lord of Pointsbrook to join my side. That would be the idea. We'll see what happens, though. Uh, control D and click. Yeah, nice. Control D for David and then click and you put everybody in instantaneously. Hey, Nikolov. How you doing, my boy? Welcome back to the end. How have you been? How are you? How are you? Uh, man at arms. Nice. And they will soon become the um, tear guard for the front line. You just got your COVID-19 shot. Uh, first batch or second batch, Nikolov? I guess we're playing Pulp Cthulhu, which is the most hero-ish. I don't know. I've never played it, but you guess we're playing with some big podcast group out of Britain. Your wife knows. Okay, uh, just Tyrandel, don't set any expectations. Have some fun and relax, my man. First shot. Okay, just fair warning. Uh, after the first shot, you're going to be feeling very small symptoms. But after the second shot, you're going to feel a little bit worse for a day or two. Afterwards, you'll be just fine. Ponies and rainbows and sunshine will sing in your praise, Nikolaev. And thank you for getting vaccinated, man. It's, it's the right call. Plan on going insane ASAP and being as funny as possible? The toads! The toads! And then you don't explain anything about that. You just, you're just sleeping and you're like, No, not the toads! And then that's it. Nothing. You let, just let the DM deal with your, with your dream. Just let the rest of the characters just rack their brain about, about what the toads mean and you're gonna have some a lot of fun you're a big role player when it comes to that stuff awesome my man all right let's see duke aldemar is gonna be growing up again so if we were on max difficulty, Duke Aldemar would have 300 troops just like that. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Rebeche, you give me your boys. Perfect. Uh, that is Lord Gabald. Garibald. We will attack him. And we will kill him. You're mine, Lord Gabold. Come on! Holy crap, I thought he was going to get away. Uh, upstanding, I will defeat thee. And then I will release thee. One of our games in D&D got completely sidebarred over your character going insane and yelling about frogs. And everyone was concerned for the Paladin who at one point saved each of them somewhere. We're concerned for the paladin who at one point. Could you please rephrase that last part? Uh, the paladin saved the party from the frogs, or or was there an incident with frogs? Or could you please rephrase that so I understand? Because I think I'm dumb, dumb. I might be dumb, dumb. Dumb, dumb. Away. Okay, that didn't work. That didn't work either. Ah, lame. He got staggered at the last second. Well, we knocked him unconscious, which is nice. Ooh, ooh. Nice. And whoop up. And whoop. Up. Nice. Three horse archers killed in fast succession. That is a good day in my book. I have very low, uh. Woo. I have very low requirements for having a good day. Speaking of good day, um, today we had a lot of work at at my job, and my phone kept on ringing from 10 a.m. in the morning until oh, non-stop, without stopping, until around 5 p.m. Ooh, that was a lot of talking. 
so the paladin who would hey he's done we'll come back to the end the paladin who had saved each other over the others at some point went crazy yelling about frogs i believe it was the paladin and that went insane about hearing frogs chirping and kept talking about frogs and they all thought it was possessed or something and spent three game sessions trying to exercise him ex sore size not exercise i don't think he ate a lot of frogs and became fat the frogs the frogs did you eat a lot of frog legs you gotta get some exercise man you gotta put it put it on the treadmill full plate armor you gotta do that shit man i mean we can't play call of fat cthulhu without exercising you're bad explaining or you notice about that by now? It's okay. I'm just having some fun. It's okay. Fat Cthulhu can't, doesn't exist. Fat Cthulhu can't hurt you. Fat Cthulhu. Making paladins fat with frogs. Yeah. Fat <gasps> Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Fat That's That's the name of a character in RPG right there. The Thick Squid. Fat Paladin is best Paladin. Roadblock? Fuck yeah. Uh, you, everyone's bad at spelling in Twitch. Eh, they just don't have the patience. They don't have to pay the patience to, you know, put in the effort to write incorrectly. And that's it's understandable. It's fine. I hate how lords don't join you unless your faction is stronger in the world of ice and fire. It makes it very tedious to start a kingdom. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does, but I think it's a it's a fail save to make it so that you don't snowball out of control. I think that would be the idea. Although eventually you're gonna snowball out of control. That's a thing. Also, 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 elated mango. Hire a mercenary band and make them follow you. All sieges will sur all sieges all fiefs will surrender, even before the siege takes place. Overwhelm them with numbers, my man. That's the secret of a world of ice and fire. The numbers, Mason. The numbers. Okay. Recruit. That's some extra relations with that dude. September. Jatu Boys, Castle Elden, but that's also a very fast way for you to upgrade uh, the military power of your kingdom. Just hiring a mercenary company. Yep, like the Golden Company. Yep, yep. Or the Moon Brothers. You have a great show on Broadway. For Cure Guard, for the Cure Guard Guard. God. Good. I don't really want to kill the mercenary, ca the caravans. Sorry, not the mercenary. The caravans because it's dishonorable. Uru. Dishonorable. Ru -ru. And I don't want to do that. Let's go to Bazak. See how they're doing. Lord Fabius. The Bacchus Empire was defeated but managed to escape. That's nice. Sub bubble gum. Buy from the peasants. Smelling chicken. I think the boys are fine just for a few more days. With the smelly chicken. Um, I have two prisoners. It's not that big of a deal. Although it's September the 30th, I should start going south. I should start going south to um, sell the prisoners. Oh, no, sorry. My bad. Wrong button. Leave Duke, Alexis, Hengist, and Conrad here. Uh, Lord Gustav, you stay here as well. We don't want you. And I want to sell those prisoners. Uh, how are we looking? Raven Guard Knight. Yeah! They're starting to stack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well... They're shit right now, so we'll have to put on a lot of effort to make them big, burly, scary, destructive men. Um, you know, it's gonna be cool. Uh, 31 of the warriors, cool. Done. Go to Lord's Hall. We'll try to get as much loot we can. 
Yeah, I'm going for the Noldor tournament later. That's that's one of the reasons why we're going south. My boy. What what did you think? I mean, I'm going to give up the opportunity of getting a Qualis Chum. Okay, let's save. And let us go to Loria, where we will hopefully restock on some shit. Duke Elfwine of the Kingdom of Sarlon was defeated. None of our business. We don't really care about the situation of other factions, even though the Empire is a little bit down in the ditch. We just want to keep an eye on the messaging system, just so in case, in case shit goes down over, over at our territory. Small band of enemies near Falcon Dark and Basic. That's fine. There's no raid going on yet. Morale's looking good too. Currently making Kier Guard because we want some shields into the infantry line. My village is under attack. Count Bogdan, you shithead. I think the I think the village is gonna get destroyed this time. I don't think I can make it back. I'm gonna try to make it back there. And save it. But I might I think I might need to give up on the whatchamacallit? On the tournament. We'll see. If I am to do that. That's a hefty amount of cash. Uh, marketplace goods give me everything. Get to the tavern and buy ourselves a traveling... Oh, hello, Amala. Anything from your travels? Fuck no. Down thug. Nah, I'm gonna try to run to Noldor, uh, to Elecrae, and then from there I'm gonna try to reach Bazic, I although I think it's gonna get burned. I think it's gonna get burned, though. Wait. Shit. Couldn't sell the prisoners. Do we have a ransom broker here? Quick fan. Town thug. Nope. No ransom broker, so I guess I'm stuck with the prisoners for now. Shitty. Wandering Traveler deals with a Holy Inquisition has assembled an army. Weekly budget. Three noble recruits have joined your cause. Two because of your shrines and churches. One because of the glory of being in my army. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, Noldor. I wish you were near my settlements right now. I don't think I'm going to make it to Basic in time. Need to wait here. And now we go to the Nordor, Nordor tournament and probably lose in a horrible fashion. So I'm going to try to focus the fuck out of it. So let me just get prepared. Uh, be warned, I will be ignoring the chat for a little bit. And let's fuck shit up. Join a tournament, place bet on myself, die in the first round. Ooh, fuck. Ah, shit, he didn't survive. Nope, die in the first round. As expected. Alright, fuck it, let's run away. Try to reach Bazic before it dies. I'm not holding my breath, though, as I said. Yep, enemies have laid waste. Bazic has been killed by Count Bogdan. The fucker. I'm gonna get there. And I will get revenge. Eventually. Uh, um, two more cure guard, three more men at arms. Cool. So we got some. Oh my god, I didn't get the baggage train. Great. Yes. Ass plant. It's okay, I'm gonna get the baggage train from the Seneschal. From the steward, sorry. 
Oh, sorry. Oh, fuck. He's a Seneschal, actually. A War Room Baggage Train. Thank you. A uh, War Room... Nothing yet. Thank you. Let's get out there. Put in the prisoners. And see if there's anything we can recover. What was in the, in the latest recent messages? So... The village of Bazak has been looted by Count Bogdan. Prosperity of Bazak has decreased from average to below average. And that's it. We're just going to wait for Bazak to recover and we're going to have to repair it afterwards. So, Lord Bogdan, where can I find you? Let's find Lord Bogdan's home address and um, I think it's I think it's TP his house. I think that's the term, you know, toilet paper his house. But use as a verb. So, Count Bogdan. Oh, you're a good-natured shit. Well, I'm so happy that you burned my village and killed a lot of innocent people. Count Bogdan, such a nice guy. Good-natured Lord of Uslam and Saffron Gate. I don't know, he just has villages. Boohoo. Oslam and Saffron Gate. I think Saffron Gate is somewhere. Oh my god, okay. And Oslam. Where the fuck's Oslam? Oh my. Okay. Okay, yeah, he is very far away from home. He might not be coming back for a while. Uh, can the Ravens are wa want Lord Conrad for 4.1k? Sure. Take him. He killed those people and burned that village, but he smiled nicely while doing it. Yes, he was all like. Yeah. That's how he killed those villagers. All the while doing that. Maybe just blood splattering on his face. <laughs> Fuck. Such a nice guy. I mean, he killed my wife and two kids, but he had such a beautiful smile. He won my heart that day. <laughs> oh, that's, so dumb. that's some dumb shit, man. That's some dumb shit. <laughs> he didn't get mad at them for resisting. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm just. Oh, peasants. Killed them. <laughs> Oh, oh god. Ugh. Fucked up, man. Fucked up. Okay, let's <laughs> let's move on. Uh yep. We're gonna start recruiting a little bit like Madman. Hey Dennis. Welcome back to the end, dude. Yeah, Pendor. Duke Aldemar, you came out to play. Ah, you, you, you cheeky cowardice. Coward. Maybe if I walk away and then go back in, he's going to be like, oh, I, I think he went away. He's going to come out. Okay, you just fucked up. Also, Duke Aldemar just shat 40 soldiers and embedded them in his army. Good show, lad. Good show. Did I get my kingdom yet? Yes, I did. Good to see me again. I don't think you're that happy, dude. I don't think you're that happy. Yes, we've acquired our first fief, good sir. Last time. And now... We will kick ass. Now we're practically trying to hold our territories. Things have started to stabilize. The shitty part is we got our, vill our village destroyed. Uh, but... They'll be fine. It is but a scratch. They'll they'll get back up. Uh, soldiers, hold your fire. Let's let's just wait until we see the white of their eyes a little bit. Maybe feel a arrow shot towards us. Just one. Last episode, you fully watched. Okay, then you should know that we have created a thief, a, a faction. Or are you talking about YouTube? Uh, last episode you fully watched was episode 3. Oh, I see. Then I apologize, good sir. 
yes, we have created our own fact. We've taken our first castle. And I didn't give it to the queen. I took it for myself. Because I'm a stinker. Uh, aim better, please? I'm going to be charging in here any second now. What are they doing, though? Oh, 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 ah, ha, 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 I saw that one. I got it. I got it. I'm just holding the shield up. I don't really actually get it. Mmm, nighttime warfare. You notice that there's no killing going on right now. That's because... Ooh, that hurt my soul. Uh, that's because um, archers receive an accuracy penalty during the night. Okay, stop right here. I will be the wall. And there's some good killing. Should I watch the playlist as you have the summer holiday? If you desire, good sir. If that is your wish, so be it. Get the fuck oh, boy. Final thoughts on throwing? Meh. Final thoughts on throwing? Good if you're a foot soldier and if you want if you're into roleplay. But if you want to be an efficient boy, nah. Oh my god, he he grew up and just got got swole with this army. What the fuck? I mean, maybe we're a little bit lucky that we're fighting during the, the nighttime. Okay, somehow you went through my shield. Great. Tomorrow you're gonna get the EN results. Mm, what? does en stand for i exam i assume it's an exam thingamajig okay we have to retreat because we're getting butchered b -b -b butchered so sorry there's a mix um just go with crossbow so if you want to invest the least amount of points crossbow if you want to go powerful with investment power draw archery if you just want to role play and just have some ranged options but not super reliable and limited ammo throwing that's it asgard rangers are kind of dangerous i don't think they're kind of oh ian is evalora nazionada baku wait is it baku or is it capacitata from the eighth grade dennis Utilize sword and board and bow. Kind of wanting to use two-handed and two quivers, but the lack of shield scares you. Give it a shot, man. The eighth grade one. Okay, Dennis, I really hope you did good, my man. I really hope that you did good, because I think they're the main factor that is taken into consideration for admission for high school. Yeah. Ya ba da ba bum, ya ba da ba bum, da da ba bim boom, jubidi bum. I don't know why a Christmas song came to mind, but I will kill with it in mind. That's uns <laughs> that is unsettling right there. I uh, know shield and pedra basically means wounded every battle, or just play far away like a chicken. I think that would be the best way to describe it. I'm going to try to pinpoint kill the Ice Guard, boys. Because we're hurting a bit here. We're actually causing kills and shit. And I don't appreciate that, good sirs. I think I've killed a few. Nice. I think I just heavily injured that one. Okay, he is focusing me down. Yep. Beautiful. Lame. Seventy-five percent of it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Doesn't playing like a wuss kind of defeat the purpose of the extra damage capabilities? Yeah. Risk over reward, my good sir. Throwing sounds OP in Parisma, but you're not in the mood for that mod. Um, throwing is OP only if you have above power throw seven. Below that, it's pretty lackluster. But if you have it below, uh, if you have it over 
10 specifically, then you will kill a lot of people with one grenade. But it's a grind. It's a grind and it's a lot of points investment. Your choice, good sir. Ah, Duke Aldemar managed to escape. Shit. That's bad, but he's still a powerful mofo. Hmm. Hardcore. Uh, trained boys. 590 in points, Brooke. One of my captives, Lord Hengist and Duke Alexis, managed to escape. Shit. It means I have to defeat them again. Is Bazic? Nah, Bazic's not back. What small bands are we took? Ah, oh, Jar Jatu. Don't care about them. Uh, Lord Gustav, sure. I'll give him back. If you refuse those r ransom rewards, you actually receive a honor penalty. So even though we want them off the field of battle, we'll, we're still making some money. We don't really want to compromise our honor right now. So that's cool. Small party. And they are blah, blah, blah. Nothing interesting around here by the looks of it. Fine black iron spear. Oh, don't the recently looted villages only have poor loot as soon as they recover? I'm not sure. I'm Dennis. I'm not sure. I usually don't really utilize the resources of a village in in Warband. Or its mods. Never really found a situation where I'm like, yes, I want from that village. Now actually no, never mind. I said corrected. Viking Conquest. Yep, yep. In Viking Conquest I did utilized our resources of villages because they had cheaper produce. Yep, yep, I do stand corrected. Let's go towards rain up. Oh, hello. <laughs> did you? Did all of you just run? King Gregory. Oh, boy. King Gregory, come on. Oh, boy. This is going to be a very destructive battle. Have I done the Snake Elk Fortress for my United Order yet? No, I have not. And I don't think I'm going to be doing it. Say hello to my little friend. All of my guns. All of my guns. But my guns. America. Are they charging in like madmen? No, but they're forming a big destructive line. I don't know what we're going to do against these boys right about now. But we'll try to make the best of it. I don't think we even have that many soldiers, to be honest. This is going to be a tough cookie to destructively break. We want to hold fire for a, a while. Let's see. Actually coming from behind that hill, huh? Any specific reason why not? Why should I? What benefits, what amazing benefit do I receive from getting that? Except the food. There was just no reason to do it. Doesn't help me none. It's probably going to spawn in a location where I can't really utilize it that much. Hey, yeah, okay. I've been playing Battle for a hundred hours now. You're a right. Warband is superior. Why? What is your opinion? Why? Uh, dislikes everything. Welcome, Thidian. I really hope you're not going to dislike me, my man. Uh, yes, we're playing Prophecy of Pendor. I don't think I've played Weendor, this Weendor that you speak of. Ooh, crap. Aha! Got him. Oh, horsey. No! Horsey, please. <gasps> Ouch. Oh my god, that, that dude is throwing for us. Shit. Oh. Okay, we gotta get away. Asshole horses are assholes. Run. 
so I can retreat. Because we're losing a lot of boys. Nope, horsey. Help me escape. Oh, wow, that's why. That's why I just had a lot of soldiers behind me. Holy shit. Uh, let's see. Warband original soundtrack is superior. And it really read well. Oh, wait, what? Oh, OST, original soundtrack. I see. Okay. Hello, shut up, no way. Welcome to the end. Oh, wait a second, I'm Romanian. Yes, I am Romanian. Thank you. Music in the battle orders gets repetitive very quickly. It... I, I, I'm sorry, I feel like it gets repetitive in a war band as well. Imagine if you get knocked out by a rando horse. That would be... a shame. Uh, we lost 15 men in that scarf. Ooh, ooh, seven legios. Ooh, that hurt. That hurt me big time. But we did kill around 100 of them. I don't know if I can break it. I don't know if I can win this battle. Hey, Spectre. Or General Kenobi, even though I hate saying that shtick. Archers up here, infantry down here, cavalry on the left flank. As usual, we have to win this battle, because if I leave this battle, there's a high chance that the lords from inside the castle will just come out and attack me. I think I bit more than I could chew, and we might lose the entirety of our army here. There's a possibility. But we have the advantage that uh, they're not actually attacking us in an organized charge. They're just going for the first, first last dude to arrive as a rotten egg kind of tactic, which is dumb. But it is to our advantage. Because I'm going to be causing some issues within their ranks. I'm going to try to take this opportunity to eliminate as many of their cavalry as we can. Are those Fearsbane Berserkers? Holy crap! So Kodan is a mercenary of the Fearsbane. Interesting. Holy fuck, I'm scared. Shoot them good, please. Shoot them good. Nice. Actually, they have black shields, so we are the bane of their existence right now. Ooh, that's a big-ass sword, or are you just happy to see me? No, 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 never mind. It's a big-ass sword. Hello? I am your distraction of this evening. Please witness me. Good. They're sh getting shot nicely. Also, they just brought out their throwing weapons. That's bad for me, because I'm dying. Hey, Gabby. Welcome back to the end, dude. Are you don't give a fuck if I say General Kenobi, but it does break your little Star Wars fan heart? Mm, I, th I think you're gonna just get over it. I think he's just happy to see me. Mm-hmm. And I'm happy to see him dead. I know. Cruel, but... Hey! Sometimes you just got a spirit dude in the in the neck. You're doing quite peachy today. You recently woke up from a nap and now you're eating your dinner. Bon appetit, my man. I really hope you enjoy. I'm glad that you're feeling nice, man. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of surprised that we lasted this long. Okay, time to retreat. We did a hefty amount of damage to them. Surprisingly enough. I wonder if they have any prisoners that I could get my hands on after the battle. Because I fear like we're weak enough for the lords of the castle next to us to just get out and fuck us. We're going to have to be very careful about it. Let's see if we can get a vantage point before the... You know what? You know what? I think maybe giving them this hill might be a good idea. Good day, drunken moose scoot, sir. Welcome back to the end. How are you? How are you doing, my man? Really hope that you're well. Really hope that you're having a good time. Ooh, bad. Oop, 
very bad. Please get into positions. Oh, you're not gonna get into positions, are you? Cavalry charge, and I'm gonna try to stop them as much as I can. Okay, I stopped them a bit. Get shot to bitsies. Mmm, Madam Ursula, god damn it. Out of one job. I helped. Okay, they're finally starting to get to a good position. Sick but fine. You just got test results and all fine. Okay, the common cold. This mod gives you good old memories. It's a good fucking mod. I think their archers reached the top of the hill. Let's let them come to us. You just got here so you don't know the overall situation, but you're getting some white girl couch meme vibes right now. I... What, what? How does that meme work? Is that the meme where it's a couch girl and she's surrounded by four black dudes? And it's kind of a ad to porn? They're planning on playing Perizno ever again. Uh, you guys will have to vote on it for the next playthrough. Once we finish Prophecy of Pendor, um, you guys will have to decide between Perizno, Bannerlord, or Banner Page. You're my ambiguous biggie? Fuck yeah, you're my ambiguous biggie. My biggie boy. No, stay away, you filthy animals. Okay, we have to, I think, retreat and re-engage a bit. Yeah. Although they're kind of dist- No, 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 no. Retreat and re-engage. They started throwing shit at us. Mm -mm. Gonna do the store to get some sweets. Sweets are pug. Okay, biggie. Just be careful not to get too big. Mm, I like the next map better. This one gave, gave us such a good spot to defeat the enemy. Right here on this little mound. Let us end this, brothers. We end this tonight. Have I ever fought a Vanscary army? It ain't pleasant. It ain't effing pleasant, that's for damn sure. Not a fun time. Uh, just maybe a little bit further here might be good. How I fought against the Jarls? Uh, yeah, I fought against Fjordsbane. If that's what you're saying. Gonna dehorse them a little. Whoa! Nope, was a little bit too scared of that dehorsing. Got that one, though. What is he doing? I'm not sure. Put you a little bit forward. Ow. Gotta scratch that nose. Well, the nose itches, brothers. What? Oh, crap. Mm, mm, I am out of HP. Why is my horse lame? Because he fell in battle and he couldn't get up. I'm gonna have to heal him afterwards. Hello, Aquates. Welcome to the end. Cavalry charge, but I don't think I have any. Sit yourself down, boys. Oh, nope, down I go. Womp womp. Okay, I'm gonna have to let them fight. Cheers to you too, Yozasura. How you doing, man? Yes, I fell. I might be lame now. Might be lamed now. Yes. No, Fiendsvane Hutskarl, you were the chosen one. Just chosen. Enjoying a beer and watching the Euros. How about you? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Who's winning? Are you winning, Romania? No. Probably not. I'm not holding my breath. Are we even are we even in the Euros? I don't think so. Ever use the Order of the Griffin as my main KO? No. I like to KO people with my custom KO. They just have the bigger dicks. They overcompensate for my micro penis. 
Spain beat Croatia and for 120 minutes with a 5-3. Ooh, full of action. Intense. Easy win now. Uh, time to kill those lords in the castle that you keep hearing about. We'll see. Of course, there's another Romanian in this zero. Now, as I understand from my father, I'm, I'm not really a big soccer guy. Um, as I understand from my father, we are a little bit lacking in the strength department. Oh my god, we're actually getting mushed. We're not getting mushed a bit here. If you will besiege Alacre, you'll get 12 inches and 100 of the judge will answer. 12 inches? Now nah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Rip no Romanian Euro. Wop wop. And now all of the Romanians are dislike. Nah, man. I just never was into soccer, and I never really put a lot of faith into into our national team because I don't know. I, I trust my father's judgment when he says that, because because definitely my father is just a professional couch football witnesser, and that clearly makes him an expert. Uh, so if he says that the current formation is a little bit on the weak side, um, who am I to disbelieve him? Who am I to disagree? We're under the sea level with football right now. Will you now put super, super faith in, in your handball team? Okay, so that's a different story. I do put a lot of faith in our handball team. We have some good handball teams over here, especially the girls teams. They'd be good. They'd be strong. Could they be powerful? Romania is in the Europe because they're too good. Need to give the other European teams a chance. Oh shit! So, uh, sorry, sorry. What were you saying, Aquitans? Egypt. Okay. France. Are we just saying random country names? Land of the baguette. What are we doing, Biggie? What are we doing? Uh, Egypt has a very surprisingly good handball team. Okay. Mm, not sure. I know that over here in Romania, we're very good at tennis. Well, we're very good. We have some good players. I'm not very good at tennis. I never played tennis in my life. Play some badminton, but nah. Um, but over here in Romania, uh, we have a very good female handball team and very good tennis players. That's kind of it. I don't know if we're, we're, you know, champions or anything else. Oh, crap. They're actually holding the line. I'm going to go there and give them a piece of my mind. Mm hmm. I don't know if you follow chess, but Romania has some really good chess players as well. No, suddenly no, I don't follow chess. I'm glad to hear that we do. I also understand that we have some professional players in esports. I, I think we have a professional player in League of Legends. That is, I think, on... Well, last time that I checked, he was on... Uh, the European thingamajig. Esports? Uh, yeah, electronic sports. Good, sir. Romanian handball school is great, twice world champion in the 1970s. Cool, cool. I mean, technically, we could get a very good spot here. Everyone hold your fire. Everyone come here. I mean, don't mind if I goddamn diddly do. If you're gonna be giving me this opportunity. Let's wait. Just don't get fucked by the arrows. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to move around in circles. Oh my god, did they break? No! They broke! They broke! No! Stay there! Stay there, boys! Shit. Stay there, goddammit! Cavalry, charge! Where are they? Where are they? Oh, yep, they are, they're coming! Oh, nope, wrong button. Panicking. I am pa- No, I'm not panicking. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. 
Fly, you horse. Huh? What? No way. Are they reforming lines? The cheekies. The cheeky dickies. They're reforming lines. Yep, they're going back. <laughs> oh, no. Are we playing cat and mouse and shit? Okay, everyone follow me. This time we're going to go together. We're going to hold hands. And we're going to go together. Yeah, I just got baited. I just got baited. Let's slowly move forward to get that, brothers. Also, everyone is holding fire just to make sure. And we're going to take this nice little hill over here. And that's going to be the first spot. And once we take this position, we're going to try to slowly move towards the next. Was a butterfly? Um, you were a butterfly, a pivot in the high school. You loved history more than sports. I see. Awesome. That's cool. I also played a lot of handball in, um, well, sadly it was in primary school, but still was enjoyable. Uh, after we actually had a PE teacher who was a female a handball player professionally. Um, so, of course, since she knew handball, we mostly played handball. Played a lot of basketball. No, oh, I see. Yeah, I played a lot of basketball in high school. Sadly, I didn't grew. I didn't grow a fucking inch. See you, Turndell. Have a good one, man. Thanks for dropping by. Okay, they're holding position. Let's see. I think if we start shooting, I'm just gonna waste ammo. Let's see if I can make them come over here without doying. We should be able to take this little hill. What is their AI doing, though? And now they decide to break. Are we too close? Archers over here, please. Come on. Fast and furiously, please. Cavalry charge in. So she'll play basketball and she'll still is a meter and 65. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm a meter and 68. Mm -mm. Take that. Take that, good sir. Slaughter the ball. I helped, I think. Good job, boys. You did good. Got to charge in that sky. Oh, their infantry's coming in now. The love people how how people saying retreating in this game is cheating. It is. I feel like it is. It's it's a cheesy thing to do, but hey, you know what? I learned to live with it. Even though the Mongols used to run away just to lure the enemy to better terrain. Mm. Okay. Good. Probably not a good idea to run uphill when I'm being attacked by throwing weapons. Yeah, probably not. I think it's over. I think. Whoo! Horsey! Horsey, no! What did they do to you, Horsey? <laughs> I, I saw the moment when that axe just plopped inside the horse's head. That was. Horrifying and beautiful at the same time. Boop. Got you in the butt. What? What? In the butt. Man, people are cheering at it. It's over. How did you find your Raven Stern melee boys? Remember you had some bad thoughts of them in the past? Uh, well, I'm currently utilizing the Cure Guard just because I don't have anything else around me to utilize. Good sir. You undo the retreat abuse if there was another way to fill quivers. True. Did I ever play with fire and sword? Yes. Too boring early game. Too much grind. Not fun. I feel like in that game you're kind of forced to join a faction right off the bat. Code and the iron sword is mine. King Gregory the Fourth. 
is mine. Well, hot dang giggity. Look at that. Take all of those. Stop. Don't move. We must run away post haste. But first, Cody, Cody, baby sunshine, what are you doing? How you doing, my boy? I will accept a Qualis gem from you, but poop it out. Poop it out. Give me the Qualis gem. There you go. See, it wasn't that hard. Practically, if you capture the king, it's game over for the faction. If you speedrun the faction castles. King and Marshal. Capture the king and Marshal. Keep them together. Tight. In a castle and with a prisoner tower and you'll be fine. Now. Run! Because... Talon Crag has a lot of boys inside. A lot of boys. Explains those squinty eyes if he has a Qualis gem up his ass. I know where they're hiding them, man. I know where they be hiding them Qualis gems. Okay, so since we have another Qualis gem... Should I create another chapter of our order? Or should I just get drugs? I might just get drugs. Yeah, just getting drugs, man. Getting drugs, increasing that strength, agility, and charisma even further. Yeah. I'm not sure, actually. Did the Shar eat the Empire indeed in this campaign of yours and if you use slowly kisses the red baron of Sarleon? Good infantry is getting scarce. It's simply because of my location. I don't really have a good spot of going to um recruit I, I can't really go on a massive recruiting spree right now because we're still quite vulnerable raven guard for falcon dark have assembled a war party to assess the raven assist the ravens to rebels yeah good luck with that man good luck with that shit they're not ready they're not ready to do this merchant house of felon has been declared an enemy of sarleon okay okay Think another chapter house would be good though? Yes, if I get another thief. We'll see. Bladder Dragon Tears. Kidney actually Qualis gems are kidney stones that are they're stuck way up the bladder. Way up the bladder, Morty. How the fears van get eliminated before even becoming a king? You hate that the villages change their culture based on the faction's occupation? Actually, Biggie, I've ac actually found out that it's random. If you visit the village, sometimes it's going to give you Dashar, sometimes it's going to give you Empire. It, it, it's random. They won't always give you the culture of the newly conquered... Culture. Conquerors. Yes. What the fuck indeed? Yeah, I went through... Va not Valvin, Emir, Valvin, Bouvran, Ahun, Bretwin, all of these former Empire villages, and I sometimes received Empire recruits, sometimes I received Dashar or Sarleon. Yep, yep. Tested. With, you know, recorded evidence in my VODs. You can go check it out. One love. Be really cool if all the feasts in the kingdom had Raven Guard. Oh, and Rhyle. Would be very cool. Refugees? What about refugees? Good sir. Plip. You too. Okay. Um, man at arms. Leave and beautiful Qualis gem is beautiful. Good. Okay, so what are our options with this Qualis gem? We can one buy ourselves elves. You know, just get ourselves a contingency of um, Noldor. We could buy drugs and increase our our proficiency, our skills. We could. 
Just build another chapter house, another knighthood order. Or we could invest it into a weapon. I think the knighthood order would be best. It's probably the refugees that sack up and thieves after the village transfers faction ownership. I guess. I think just building up another chapter house might be a good idea. Any potions for the commanders? I give them once, uh, only once, uh, some Dust of Twilight uh, to increase their uh, skills. I actually have Lethal Durin with uh, Intellect, but it's a big but. I have Diev, who's a more powerful archer than Lethal Durin. And I have um, Siggy, who's a more powerful infantryman than Lethal Durin. So, does Lethal Durin need trainer? He has a very high level, and having him with some trainer will boost up the speed at which you level up soldiers quite a lot. Yes, and it's also useful if you are going to be relying on Lethal Durin to train your Nitrate Order. Your choice is do whatever you feel. Yeah, I guess it is. I think these boys have a really long time and they're going to be until they're going to be up to up to, you know, until they're going to be capable of duking it out against other knighthood orders. So, because of that, I'll have to think. I'll, although it's probably the chapter house. I think the chapter house is going to be the most beneficial in the long run. So we're going to set the Squala Gem over here, safe and sound. And he starts to defeat Igrim. We already defeated Igrim. He's no longer a problem. We defeated Igrim twice in our playthrough. He's he's gone. We don't have to worry about him. Your Lethal Lord always spawns with Zero Trainer? Yeah, my... Well, my Lethal Lord always, also always spawns with Zero Trainer. I just train him up to get some trainer, so it's it's fine. Especially when he's camping in Avandor. Since he could be given some strength when Dio returns. Yes. Yes. But both of them are at uh, strength 30. Both Sigi and Diev are at strength 30, so both will benefit the Knighted Order. Both. Both of them will make the boys go bulky and big. Okay, let's go westwards a little bit. Lord Gustav is sitting around. Yep. My Diev has 10 power power draw. Diev is going to be the tr the archery trainer. Although, I think proficiency-wise, Lethal Learn still wins in the proficiency department when it comes to archery. Uh, but still, still, that's still fine. Also, Siggy is going to be training them up in two-handed department. It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. We just got to wait. Just got to be patient. And no, actually, I sent him for three weeks. So that's 21 days. So Div is going to come back in around 10 days time ish around that ballpark. I'm going to try and go and grab um, some more recruits because we are lacking. I grim the Devaro, how will you defeat his 5,000 stack? Hit and run tactics, uh, kill a few, retreat, kill a few, retreat. Once you have a knighthood order, you will murder him. You just gotta go through his first waves of soldiers, which are the elite. They're the chunky boys, they're the tanky demons. And afterwards, it should be just a time game. Slowly take your time, murdering them all. You can try it again to attack a thief and win by defending. Oh, that's true. That's true. Have you... Which thiefs have you seen Igrim attack? Good sirs. Where have you baited him, brother? Uh, urgent message. Yep, yeah, I'll go. Um, I'm an idiot. Was the urgent message for Falcon Dark? He attacked Avandor? Cool. Whew. <clears throat> Avandor's fine. 
small band of enemies near Falky. I don't know if it's this guy. If he has issues with recruiting new boys, fodder, number garrison soldiers, farms, small chatter patrols between those two bridges near your castles. Oh, true. Yeah, I'll find some prisoners, and I'm just going to take the prisoners, and I'm going to take them to the castle. But I kind of want to get some reliable, powerful soldiers. So I, I'm just going to recruit from Ravenstern. Even though we're at war, I'm still receiving a lot of recruits from their villages. I think it's because I'm a Raven Ravenstern rebel. Maybe that's why. You've seen them attack Windholm and Singal. Cool. Just attack three Jato armies with 1k prisoners next each. Yeah, that too. Hello. It concerns the castle, my lord. Repairs are urgently needed. We discovered a tunnel in the dungeon leading out to the woods. We should block it off, my lord, or keep it for emergencies. Uh, repairs? Hello, my dear. I'm fine. I'm okay. It's still hot in here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, Dinar's repair. Seneschal is able to enact the repairs with the help. Gain to renown. Relation with Falcon Dark has improved. Because God knows we needed a relation with Falcon Dark. Also, having positive relations with certain honorable Raven Star Wars helps with the recruits. Maybe. Maybe I'm going to hold them up, breath though. Another gear guard, another footman, another man at arms. 64, 32. We still have around 100 archers. Ranged troops. That's fine. Okay, let's move westwards. Uh, heretics have managed to summon a demonic army and have raised an army. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Lord Gustav is growing in strength. Small band of enemies. How to raise garrison. Get heartbeat problem 14. I... What's a heartbeat problem 14? Which one's that? Oh, you don't think I'm familiar with it. I don't know them by name or number, that's for sure. I'm gonna trick. Ah, fuck it. Go to Rebuche. Nope. Is Telling Crag now empty? Yep, Tall and Craig is empty. I don't know where everybody went. When a sword wants your ass, you're asked to ask the thief, but it's a Merc company. Oh, I see. Wander Chevrol. Oh shit, the Dread Legion is now upon us. That's awesome. How big is the garrison of Pointsbrook? Around 600 troops. Ah, uh, but I want to convince the Lord of Pointsbrook to join us, actually. The free Barkley troops. Ooh, that sounds sexy. Hello, Wolfie the Bode. I'd love to fight you, but I don't think I'm in a condition to fight you. I'm in a situation to fight you. Five Ravenstar recruits. Awesome. A noon. And then I'm going to go to the south and see what's the situation at rain. Go. Is Marilla fits in our rain? Yeah. Mm hmm. It's not. Small band of enemies. I think it might be a good idea to go eastwards. One of the recruit is all I need. But more would be better. Also, each time I get a Ravenstorm recruit, I'm like, ah, you're going to be a new ranger. But no, I actually need Cure Guard right now. 20 Cure Guard, another 10 should be fine. Oh, hello, Duke Alexis. Oh, hello. Who the fuck is that? Oh, Wolf Bode is here. Kicking ass. Well, I can't really help Wolf Bode, but hey, it's nice to see him kick ass. Why is Alaric's battle music fucking goofy? It's because he has a contract with Disney and so he's contractually obligated to fap sex with Goofy. I don't know. Uh, but no, no, leaving jokes aside. Uh, it's goofy. It's because it's literally a band of drunken people 
that just went out of control. So their rebellion is just a giant drinking party that just became dumb. That's why I became my boy. Join them and take the free gem. I don't think I can join them. Whoa! Shit! Leave and run. Yeah, they fucked me. Yeah, I almost got dicked. Lord Faramund. Time for you to get your daily dicking. But why, though? Everyone, Everyone down. Archer. Let's go over here. Not too risky. I'm not getting near to that shit anymore. I just want to be happy. Archers here, infantry there, chevaliers to the east. There. DDOD. What's that? Well, you're doing that for 700 days, got to learn to 500 plus weapon proficiency and 6 trainer. All our intense skulls. That's cool, man. I want me to kill Oswald de Fleur. A daily dose of Dickon. Yeah, the DDOD. Why do you want me to kill Oswald de Fleur? The custom night order will be nice. I'm sure it will be. Ooh, who is that? That boy be looking cool. Just a Raven's turn tonight, right? Ooh! Fuck. That was a couch lance. Get fucked up on. My prisoner policy is ass. Yes, my prisoner policy is you are my prisoner until you shit a Qualis gem. Hey, Lord Fairy, you fell in, you can't get up. And there he goes. Oop. Oops. Be careful. Uh, known to torture and kill prisoners relentlessly. This feels a big ass merc army. I, I know that he's one of the merc boys, but why should I kill him? Double kill. Ah, boop. Ah, oh, man. Catch. Oh, yes, this is gonna... Oh, my God, look at me. Look at my goddamn throwing skill. Holy shit. I'm a fucking ninja. Oh, yeah. All me, baby. Mmm... Oh, yeah. Mmm, so good. Okay, that was a headshot. That was pretty fucking cool. That was pretty fucking metal. But so good. High quality throwing late game gameplay. Yeah. Boop. Are we done? Okay. Two rangers. Uh, yep, you're my prizzy. Gotta save the children that get their limbs cut off and thrown in the fire pit. The fuck, man? Kill Oswald the floor. I'm not gonna kill him. Throwing guide, how not to pick up throwing. Mm -hmm. No. And then the rest. Some soldiers leveled up. Regain peace. Okay, so are, do you have a grudge against Oswald de Fleur? Did he piss in your cereal? Did he pull your hair? 
without spitting on you first. What happened, dude? Buy some fruit from those villages if they sell it to you. I, I will. I will. I, do I need food? Huh? No, I'm fine. Yeah, I think we're still fine for now. I, I, I know that Oswald of Floor gives gems, Marcus. Biggie wants us to kill him. No, for the sake of role-playing, he was a bad guy. Kill the bad guy. Yes, I'm sure that Igrin, the Devourer, is just a pretty little princess of rainbows and sunshine of love over Oswald. Now I'm okay. The mat is more of a joke that I'm playing Prophecy of Pandora again. Count Clovis, my sworn baby enemy, why? I loved you. Oh, wh what did I accept? I don't know what I accepted, but I accepted something. Oh, nice. Diev has returned. Uh, my prison management is only six for now. I want to upgrade it as soon as I can. You'd like to become a demon that see your wife getting tortured and killed by him? Biggie, I think you had enough sweets, man. I, I think I think they're getting to your head, dude. The fuck. Yeah, I accepted the ransom. That's fine. I wanted to accept the ransom anyway. So, physical training. Increase their strength by 3. And their strength now is 21. Increase their agility by 6. <laughs> oh, dear, my baby boy. You did it. You should. You should, Biggie. You should stop. Bon appetit, man. Athletic skill increase by 2. Power draw skill increase by 2. Power strike skill increase by 1. And their weapon proficiency... One-handed increases by 10, and archery proficiency increased by 30. That's fine. Oh yeah, that 6 agility is huge, though. And the Raven Guard, increase their strength by 3, and agility by 1. Okay. Skill-wise, riding, athletics, power draw, power strike. Increased by 3 to 3. Iron flesh increased by... Nice. And weapon proficiency... Ooh, holy... Increased up. They they have a long ways to go. But still, that, that works. That works just fine. Thank you, my baby boy. Welcome back. And do I send them back again? Let's check the current situation on the boys. Uh, knighthood Order Knights. Raven Stern. R Raven Guard Knight, which is a cool name. Got like it. Do you have to get today? Spanking narrowly avoided. Nobody avoids the spanking. I don't know. Uh, Iron Flesh, Power Strike, Power Throw, Power Draw. Athletics and Writing. That's fine. I guess I, I will need to use uh, Lethal Learn for the Writing skill. Archery is a 230. Mm. Okay. Strength is pretty high up there. I maybe could start equipping them with boots. Military Discipline by Spanking. Yeah, you have one with that, man. You each, good luck with that. The spankening. Uh, sergeants, you boys really need to level up properly. As expected. Okay, Um. so let's check the stats. Okay, Siggy, Lethal Durin... Out of our slow go up there. Good. So, Siggy, what do you got from me? Siggy has 30 strength, 10 iron flesh, 10 power strike. So, he hits hard like truck, like big bull. He also has a lot of two handed weaponry. So, I mean, you're literally recruiting your military leaders by spanking them until they like it so much that they join you. Shh. That's our little secret, Zonrael. We don't have to share it with everyone. Don't put in your mind that you're crazy or something. Your brain just ventures out sometimes. Nah, dude. Nah, it's fine, Biggie. No worries, dude. <laughs> no worries. It's okay. We're joking. We're messing around. We're pulling legs and stuff and then reattaching them surgically. It's okay. No worries. So, infantry focused with the two hand. He's going to be the dude that's going to add the two handed oomph to the boys. Good. Diev. 30. 
He also has the whip. Actually, Weapon Master doesn't really matter that much for them because Weapon Master just helps with the proficiency. But he has 400 proficiency in Georgery, which is, you know, that that's that's me biting my lips sensually. It's sexy. Shut up. Okay. Um, power draw 10. Cool, cool. Athletics. Yeah, that's useful. He's going to be increasing the athletics quite nicely. Um, besides that, nothing much. That's all, that's good. Um, and Lethal Durin. What do you got? 2130. Similar stats to Diev. 10 power draw, weapon master 6, shield, writing, power strike decent, archery 466, so Lethal Durin still wins in that department. But I think I'm going to be sending... No, you know what? I think I'm going to be sending Siggy out this time. Looks more like dislocating my jaw, but sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. No worries, man. I'll kill you last. It's fine. Um, yeah, he could use... He could just put some tankiness into the boys. Hey, Craig Hack, just training up the Nightheart Order for now. Yeah, let's send him to train up the boys. Three weeks. So, Diev has his weapon archery with the Noldor Ranger, same as that. So, Diev is actually more... It's on... He's on par with Lethal Durin, except in archery proficiency. Lethal Durin still wins in archery proficiency. At what day am I? 500 and something. Currently at 500 and something, but I'm going to be sending uh, in Siggy to uh, give them HP, strength, and two-handed proficiency. I know, I know, Gabby. Uh, actually, Siggy, Diev, and Lethal Durin are capable of giving them strength. That's that's awesome. But I'm kind of giving them the Iron Flush. I I'm just sending them for the Iron Flush for right now. Lord. Burgundus the Burgund. Let's fight. God, I hate that. I hate that line. That particular line. I hate it. <laughs> the um voice acting. The one that you're blocking from your mind because it's so. there thanks marcus y you you want me to stop the stream right now okay marcus i'm sorry guys marcus is bored he doesn't want to play any he doesn't want to see me play anymore we have to stop the stream because we're upsetting marcus sorry guys <laughs> Nah, Marcus just pointed out, uh, Marcus just pointed out that I went over to the three hour mark. Um, oh my god, Marcus, no, Jesus. Um, I'm gonna be finishing this battle and then I'm gonna be ending the stream. Now, that was actually a reference. Uh, that was actually a joke and a reference uh, for 8 out of 10 cats. I really enjoyed it. Marcus is officially more crazy than you. Mm. Sure, sure. I'm actually shooting through them quite nicely. You can actually tell the difference between night and day when it comes to accuracy, uh, archer accuracy. They just shoot way better during the day. They're a lot deadlier. Got him.
Madam Ursula is again, for lack of a better term. I don't know, nothing came to mind. Madam Ursula is upset right now. <laughs> Let me catch. Woo! Alem, no! Mercy! Okay. Only weather impacts the accuracy? Nah, I'm pretty sure nighttime impacts the accuracy as well, man. I've seen them. I've seen them not doing that. No, Barkley Balestra, why? You were the chosen one, Barkley Balestra. You were the love of my life. See you, sub. You take it easy as well, man. Thank you for dropping by. Thank you for watching. You like to torture yourself with the throwing weapons. Oh, you like the short term? It's because you like to torture yourself with the throwing weapons. Okay, man. You fuel whatever kink you want that brings you the most pleasure, dude. We might have stopped you. Boop. Is it over? Everyone charge. Kill them all. There's probably a dude somewhere that's blocked behind a rock or something. Yep, I saw the arrow. I see you, Mr. Archer. Well, actually, there's two of them. I saw two arrows flying by. Heal the pony. Oh my god, thank you, Biggie, my big. Keep on forgetting about that pony. I do need to heal the pony. Okay, I have to admit, I do have to heal the pony. Sounds like a weird expression that means something super wacky. So, have you been healing the pony lately? What the fuck does that mean? If you want to confuse someone, go to them and I'll see you something like, So, Jim, have you been healing the pony lately? And th just just be super serious about it. Come on, Jim, don't laugh. I'm, I'm being I'm I'm worried, dude. <laughs> just and just enjoy the confusion. Healing the pony, man. Give the pony some smile, man. Bring back the pony's cheer. Heal the pony, Jim. Why don't you heal the pony, Jim? Why? And Lord Burgundus, you're in prisoner. Okay. And speaking of healing the pony. Good. Any level ups? Barkley Balestra, cool. Trainer, footman. I don't know why, but to me it sounds like asking if you did weed. No, 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 no. I, I, think, I think it would sound more that you did weed if you said, Hey, did you heal the unicorn? Come on. Man, did you heal the unicorn last weekend? Did you or did you not heal the unicorn last weekend? Yeah, I think that's that would be the idea. Nah, nah, I'm sorry, guys. That's going to be it for today. If you guys like what I do, hit that follow button. Um, If you want to further support me, also subscribe. If you're on YouTube, I have multiple guides and playthroughs that you guys can check out. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Helps with the algorithm and ponies and rainbows and sunshine. And remember, guys... Always heal the pony. See you next time.